No more uniform. I'm Walter, the guy who just saved your ass. There's still a few survivors left in the city, but not for long. Take this. Watch it, they followed us. They're all yours, kid. Show me what you got. What do you mean, show you what I got? Help me! Nah, you're fine. Keep it up. Quit judging me in hell! Not bad, kid. Meet me at the basketball court. Why? So you can silently judge me some more? What is this? A test? Damn right it's a test. I met other survivors like you. They were more trouble than they were worth. Uh, that dead body over there? That one of them? Hey, dead guy. What am I in for here? Break open that crate. The crate! Pick up the gun. Now, switch to your new gun. That was the test? I fucking nailed it. Wait here. Get ready to shoot some OD. OD? Overcharge drinkers. My partner Floyd says drinking overcharge causes their endocrine system to go into overdrive. I'm gonna throw some overcharge onto the court. Get ready for the real test. The OD are addicted to that stuff. They'll be here quick. Here they come. Get on the fence, kid. You're still alive. Come on, kid. Where's the cops? The National Guard, the, the, the news helicopters. Wake up, kid. Fisco controls everything. Can't we just call for help or something? It's not that easy. Fisco cut off all communications outside the city. But I have a plan. Fisco did this? Not on purpose, but they're doing a hell of a job covering it up. The rest of the world thinks we're all dead from some kind of virus. Come on, we gotta keep moving. This here is Two Hat Jack. He makes weapons. You sell me short, buddy. I'm a master craftsman. I make unbelievable shit. Go ahead, kid. Buy a weapon. You want more weapons? You come back with more overcharge. Deal? Come on! I want you to meet Floyd! Our 
our new partner. Well, all right. My name's Floyd. Intruders! You know what you're doing. Who are these guys? Yeah, criminals who will shoot you for no good reason. Best way to deal with them, shoot first. Huh? Just get out there and make sure you grind up high and bounce around. If you stand still, they'll murder you. Okay, kid. Come on back. I'm gonna head out to the overpass. Put the kid to work. Okay, I could use some more supplies. Head on down to the tracks. I'll explain on the way. By myself? Hey, I know there's some scary shit out there, but it's all in how you look at it. You tell yourself you're gonna have a good time, you'll have a good time. Am I right? But seriously, those motherfucking OD will tear you apart. Be careful. I mark the location of the parts on your map. Make sure you collect all of them. I used to be a physical scientist, head of the extreme file team. Those freaky little microbes are the secret ingredient in overcharge. Limitless potential in those things. I warned Fisco that they might be dangerous, but they blew me off. Didn't give me enough time for research. See, if you cook overcharge in a high pressure vat and mix in just the right ingredients, you can get some pretty awesome she hit. I call them M, and trust me, you're going to love them. Your street name isn't Heisenberg, is it? tracks and grind to the next stash.
what to do with red barrels. were so worried about competition, they rushed overcharge through government testing. They fucked up, and now they'll do whatever they can to protect their stock price. We're not getting out of this city alive, are we? Not with that attitude, we're not. I look at it this way. The apocalypse is our chance to be whoever we want to be. No bosses, no rules. I call it the awesome apocalypse. Apocalypse, apocalypse. So, I've been working on some things I call amps. I have some that are almost ready. I just need a few more things to finish them off. There should be some fizzy balloons out in the base. Grab them and bring them back. And studies have shown this is the best way. You equip amps on the character tab. There are different categories of amps. Select the hero amp slot to equip your new hero amp. Equip your hero amp. Now you're amplified. Now let's do your weapon amp. Select the weapon you want to amplify. Weapon amps can only be equipped on level 2 weapons. Choose a weapon amp to equip to the weapon. Huh, I don't feel any different. Oh yeah, amps only activate when you fight with style. This is the style meter, it's your best friend. Use traversal combinations to fill your style meter. Bounce, grind, and swing. Stay on the move. Killing enemies while grinding, bouncing, and doing acrobatics also creates style. You need practice. Go to the parking lot and activate your first app. Bounce on cars, 
and grind on wires until you reach style level one. Select the high fidelity. Now, go kick some ass! Activate at different levels of style. Hero amps activate at style level one. Weapon and melee amps activate at style level two. Epic amps activate at style level three. At maximum style, all amps go batshit crazy! If you just stand there and do nothing, your style meter will decay. So keep moving and killing! Stay with me, this is almost over. This is the combo counter. You get bonuses for multiple kills and traversal combos. The higher your combo counter, the faster you build up style. Yeah. You're on your own now. Don't fuck it up. Yeah! What? Now that's fighting with style. Come on back, I got some good news. Right on! This is gonna be fun. When this stuff is cooked, I'll have an amp ready for you. The reason we're cooking this shit is to make new amps. Trust me, you want amps. Now remember, soon as this shit starts cooking, those OD'd are gonna come running. Most important thing, keep those motherfuckers away from the vats. If you fail, don't worry. This is the awesome apocalypse. You always get a do-over. I set up some barricades and traps around the base, but those won't hold for long. Get out there and keep those OD from getting into the base. All right, the last step is to turn the valve and start cooking. Hey, we have something new, just your style. Sprinklers take on a new function in the apocalypse. Fill them with corrosive acid and watch enemies melt when they walk through them. Now you come back if you need more murder accessories.
before they even get into the base. Hey man, there's an outer barricade. effects were bitching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't tell you about the big end of night explosion that wiped everyone out. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Good news is it worked. Okay, some amps I can cook up quick. You just gotta bring me the ingredients and I can give you the amp right away. Just go to the amp chamber and drop off the ingredients to get your amp. You'll find amp ingredients all over the city. Here's your shopping list. Fizzy balloons are filled with hydrogen fluoride, a super acid to help kickstart the reactants. The smelly ass shoes are a potent source of sulfur dioxide. Camera lenses can help isolate the extremophiles. 
Neon signs can give me some radically ionized particles good for organic conduction. Pranksters TP'd the city. Stupid, but works in our favor. Toilet paper is the perfect catalytic substrate. If you're having trouble finding any of this stuff, Two Hat Jack sells maps with their location. Some amps need a little more time to cook. You'll have to defend the vats while we make those. I'll call you and let you know when I need your help to protect the vats. Be sure to equip those amps and let me know how you like them. Find me the overpass. I'm waiting on you. Hey, Walter. What did you do for a living, you know, before all this? Why does that matter? Okay, so you were a professional mean person. Got it. I used to be head of Fisco Security. Used to be? Hmm, sounds like you didn't leave on good terms. A couple of years ago, they got rid of me and all my men went totally automated. Big mistake. Mistake? After a colossal corporate fuck-up, we are the only ones who know the truth. And we're trapped inside a walled-up city full of zombies with no contact to the outside world. I'd say security is doing a pretty good job. Mutants, not zombies. Big difference. Right. We'll get out, and soon. Now hurry, Rose up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Watch it. Incoming. Get over here and help me fend them off. You now have a melee amp and an epic amp. I'm gonna give you one last freebie. Here's 60 seconds of that shit crazy style! First one free. They're coming from the other ramp. Once I'm over the walls, I'm gonna expose Fizco's lies and make them pay for what they've done. You really think it'll fly? I know it will. Soon as I make a few more adjustments to the launch mechanism. Wrench. Okay, I need you to lift up the carriage a bit more. Huh. Uh, like this? Now keep it there while I tighten this. Don't let go. I might have to let go. Not yet. I have to let go now. No! Yeah, did you see that? You're lucky I was here. You. What was I supposed to do? Oh, of course it's my fault. Yeah, thanks, Dad, who's not my real dad. <sighs> Guess I'll just head back to the base. Maybe I can help him rebuild the glider. I wish there was a quicker way to get there. was easy. Don't worry, man. He's been pissed at me plenty of times. It's not like I did it on purpose. I want to get out of this city just as much as he does. Hey, let's make lemons out of this lemonade. He's got to rebuild, right? <laughs> Hardest part is going to be the propeller. Why don't you head over to the old factory district, have a look around.
real beauty I might be willing to part with uh, for the right price. Hey, be careful out there. I need to find a propeller. A propeller has blades. I guess I'll start at the old Crown Blades factory. Yeah. Hey, as long as you're out there, try getting some combos and building up style. Use those M. Trust me, M can make or break you out there. on his head, so am I supposed to chase him? Yes, you should follow him. Okay, scary, helpful voice man. There should be another way around. Amazing. Are you like a superhero or something? What? It's just the way you move, the, the things you do. Well, good luck, kid. My name's Sam, but since you saved me and all, let me do something for you. Nah, not unless you know where I can find a propeller. A propeller. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Follow me! We gotta get out of here. Follow me! <gasps> oh man, what is that thing? It looks dangerous. I'll take care of it. Watch out! Four of them! Let's go through the shipping yard! Sure, what could go wrong? Up there! On the shipping containers! Search going. A little busy right 
now, Floyd. But I found a guy who might help. All right. Well, you just keep on keeping on there. Bad. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do when you don't hide in shipping containers all day. Look out! You're my hero! That's cool. I'm not taking any sidekicks right now, though, okay? Go ahead, I'll follow you. Oh my god, we're stuck. We're never gonna get out. We're all gonna die. Oh my god, you're right, we are going to die! Wait, really? No. Okay, we're just going in circles. Ugh, think, Sam, think. Here's the plan, we're gonna railjack that train. That's brilliant! And how lucky that you can drive a train! What? I can't drive a train. Then why would you even suggest stealing a train? Because we're about to die? Well, in that case, I have played several hundred hours of Choo Choo Simulator. That sounds boring and awful, but potentially life-saving. They're breaking through that barricade! Look! Here they come! Now we're really gonna die! Let's get out of here. Hey, put on your big boy pants and follow me. I'll see if I can get the train started. You check the train for supplies and keep the OD off me. Check the train for supplies? What the hell does that even mean? I don't know. Build a weapon or something. Oh, okay. Huh. Let me see what I can put together. <laughs> I guess this was heading to Toys for Terrorists. One of these. So this. A couple of those. Cute and explodey, like chocolate and peanut butter.
I did. You drove the shit out of it. I saved us. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. Come on, our safe house is just down the street. Oh, you know, looking for supplies for me and my friends. They sent me out because they're all doing other important stuff back at the base. Important stuff? Like what? I'm not really sure. You know, these friends of yours, are they really friends? I like to think so. We were all students at Oxford West College. Oxford West? Isn't that the school that all the rich and famous send their kids to when they have to go into rehab or whatever? Yeah. But it's a great school. I got a scholarship. The only scholarship. Everybody else paid their way in. Anyway, when the OD attacked campus, only a few of us made it out alive. One thing before we go in. My friends are having a hard time coping, so go easy on them. If we can get everyone working together, we're gonna make you an amazing propeller. I want you to meet my new friend. Shut up, Sam. You suck at friends, Sam. They're not bad people, they're just spoiled. They don't know how to deal with a mutant apocalypse. I know how to make them come around. Only I can get them to listen to me. Maybe you can help me help them. You want me to be your life coach? Yes. What should I do first, coach? Step one, never call me coach again. Step two, never do that again. Step three, let's see what your friends need to get upright and start working on that propeller. You with those preppy kids? My friend Calissa is there selling clothes and stuff. You go see her if you want to change. Oh, and listen, don't be afraid to try new things. You never know what's gonna fit until you try it on. On that philosophical note, bam, I'm out. Hey there! Wanna know Good what I am? I invited I have to your birthday party like perfect for your uh, mm, awesome irregular friend. size. That's Dirk. His mom is an award winning physicist, and his dad is an astronaut. He's really good with aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? How convenient. He's also a health nut. He only drinks like the most expensive water on the planet. Bora Bora water! You can't afford it! There's a bottling plant a few blocks away. If you can bring back a couple bottles for him... Wait a sec. You're telling me that the only thing that will make this guy get off his ass is some brand name bottled water? You don't know him like I do. Yeah, I don't want to know him like you do. Trust me, once we give him what he wants, he'll help make your propeller. Give me some money, <laughs> and I'll give you a fortune. Yo, Daywalker, hi. We dropped the shit out of our bags running for our life when the city went all cray. Those bags are, like, full of totally vital stuff. You think you can get them for us? They're GPS chipped. Getting them should be a cinch for you. Do me a favor and GTFO.
Hunter. I've got an infestation here. You won't be all be in my junkyard. And the last is For sure, they'd murder you good. Well, if anything, I'm a man of my word. Come get the backpack. This thing reeks. Ha! It's packed with tons of used body spray cans. I have never seen so many flavors. Midnight Prowler, Midnight Panther, Midnight Jungle Cat Panther. damn vital in here. Almond scented hand cream. <laughs> I see you gotta keep your hands soft in the apocalypse. Finals! Yay! You didn't have any trouble, did you? Nah, typical quest stuff. Bad guys, bad trees, junkyard side quests. Enjoy that foot spa. Hey, it's Floyd! 
just checking in. What are you, my mother? You wish I was your mother. No, I really don't. Anyway, I found a group of worthless, spoiled brats who just so happen to be geniuses. I gotta do some stuff for them, and then they'll build me a propeller. Nice. Walter's out at the overpass, rebuilding the glider. That propeller's gonna help a lot. Don't tell him I'm working on it. I want it to be a surprise. Walter doesn't like surprises, but then again, he doesn't like much of anything, so see ya. Draws a surprisingly long way. Hello and welcome to Sunset TV. I'm Brandon Winfrey, and let's prescribe you with a full dose of good old Sunset Overdrive. I watch Scrubs, so pretty much a doctor. Last week I said I was going to talk about character customization. But last week I lied because I'm. is flooded. Guess if I want that precious Bora Bora water, I'm gonna have to drain out this nasty stuff first. Warning. Contamination detected. Facility offline. Awaiting activation of emergency flush system. Alright, time to flush this factory-sized toilet. Emergency flush system activated. Just kidding. Obstruction detected. Pressure level critical. Release safety valves to prevent complete and utter disaster. She's gonna blow! Gotta release those valves! Yet, baby steps. Another emergency flush system is awaiting activation. Gotta flush this place out so I can get some fresh water. Emergency flush system number two, awaiting activation. Obstruction cleared. 
You are familiar with the rule of three, correct? Emergency flush system number three. Awaiting activation. Where are they all coming from? Emergency flush system offline until you figure out where those OD are coming from. Hey, automated intercom lady, I can do with a little less sarcasm, okay? They say it's better to have lived and died than to have never lived at all. I spent all these days trying to find a way. Oh, come on! A dumpster OD that spawns even more? is done. I'm out, bitches. Time to grab that water and get out of here. <sighs> Better get this back to What's-His-Face. Hope it doesn't kill him. You did it! I mean, not that I had any doubt that you would. Wait here. Hey, Dirk, I got something I think you might like. Sick. Ah, oh, fuck, that's good. Purest water on Earth. Ah, oh, thanks, Sam, you rock. Yeah, sure, anytime. Uh, can I get that propeller now? Soon. Dirk will certainly help, but we need to get a couple other people on board.
Dirk is back to his old self again. So relaxed. That's Margaret. She's an engineering major with, like, the highest GPA in the history of the school. But she lost her dog when everything went down, and she hasn't been the same since. Finding that dog will go a long way to helping her depression. Hey, whatever gets me that propeller. There's a dog park across the river that she always went to. I would check there first. Attention, player! You earn badges from playing with style. The more stylish you are, the more badges you will earn. When you earn enough badges, trade them in for overdrives. Overdrives give you boosts in your abilities. They're awesome! You can now unlock your first overdrive. Select the empty slot to equip a new overdrive. Want to unlock more overdrives? You gotta earn some badges first. You unlock and equip overdrives in the character page. Play how you want, and you'll get better at the things you enjoy. Nice! The dog park is over in Little Tokyo. You'll have to cross the North Bridge to get there. The bridge? Nah, I can just jump across on these boats. Wish there was a quicker way to get across the water. Timely! Thanks, text guy. Boats? Ugh, yikes. Open water scares me. It's just a river, Sam. It's not the Bermuda Triangle. Hey, the Bermuda Triangle is no laughing matter. Hundreds of ships lost. Thousands claimed by the sea. Not only is it a hotbed for tropical storms and magnetic anomalies, but I am pretty sure I read about alien abductions and leftover technologies from Atlantis causing ultrasonic... Sam, I found the dog! You did? No, I just wanted to save the world from the rest of your story. <laughs> just call me when you find the dog.
the fucking fuck. Hey Sam, did you maybe forget some of the details about Margaret's robo-dog? The thing won't follow me back. He must be in some kind of recovery mode. If it doesn't recognize the voice trying to command it, it will only interact with its favorite toy, Cutie Kitty. Listen, there's a toy store pretty close to you. Just try looking there for the kitty launcher, okay? Or you could just tell Margaret her dog is dead. That dog means a lot to her. Fine. Oh, wait, Sam. The dog is following me now. Oh, great. <gasps> oh, no, it just committed suicide. Sorry. Mission fail. What's next? Just check the toy store before giving up, okay? Oh, but giving up is my special move. Stupid dog. fun for me, too. Well, how about... mode, he'll only go places he recognizes. But Margaret always walked Boo Boo over the North Bridge. Try luring him there. One other thing, you can't use your guns. The dog will sense you as a threat and kill you. Well, at least this will all be over. Don't worry, the dog will defend you as long as you have the cutie kitty. Try him out. It's actually pretty cool. You're a killing machine. Let's see if you can kill some OD for me. Ha! Not gonna lie. That was pretty cool. Let's do this, Booch. Who got that key? Who did? Who got the key? Let's see if you can make this jump. Dad. Okay, where did Margaret walk the dog next? Hopefully it's a place with more things to kill in it. Down to the intersection, and then down the main street to Sasquatch and friends. That's the one who killed Eddie and took his cutie kitty. I'm gonna die, bitch! Aw, oh, shit! Let's rock and roll, Pooch. Kitty, who did? Who got the kitty with you? Come on, 
You're so close. Just get back to Sasquatch. Oh, shit! Sam, if I die protecting a fake dog, I'm good at this. Not sure who's protecting who at this point. Oh, keep talking. I'm gonna shoot a cat on Just hurry. You and me, dog. Let's do this. Thank you, Sam. You're the best. Sure. Anytime. Yeah, really nice work, Sam. Okay, we need to convince just one more person to help. Then we can start building your propeller. Max is the math wizard at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his parents. Maybe you could go check on them. Mmm, that is a tasty beverage. Max's parents live in the penthouse suite of the tallest tower. Those Fizco execs make a lot of money, you know. Well, there might be a product recall on their latest drink. So I'm just saying, I'm sure that can help the stock price. You'd think, right? But nobody on the outside knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Of course they have a panic room. Yeah, I had an entire panic apartment. It looked just like my normal apartment, but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. I'm here at the fancy town tower. You could have given me a heads up that this place was crawling through the gap. How would I know? I'm practically a shut-in after horror night. Although, it makes sense. Once you secure the bottom floor, you have all that living space above you.
<laughs> I need to get high. Her. If only I could find a way to get to the higher floors, is what I meant. Thank you very much.
panic room here. Must be on the taller tower. Room. Please don't make me find some weird sex stuff. <laughs> Voice recorder. Max's parents' dying words? Secure. Let's host. find out. Oh, shit! Gotta listen to that voice recording before I head back. Max needs to know what happened to his parents. Found it! Max, if you're hearing this message, then it means you're still alive. Shame. Your mother and I are going to live in the Bahamas. We're cashing out your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get a new job. Anyway, best of luck. By the way, have you tried drinking our new overcharged drink yet? I think you'd like it. Well, at least the dick bag left a message. <laughs> Max is now poor and an orphan. We should just tell him that his parents were skeletons in a bathtub. Just get back. We'll figure out the least worst thing to tell him. So Sam, you're sure your friends are going to listen to you now? Sure I'm sure. Thanks to you, they think I did all this great stuff for them. You're sort of a modern day Cyrano de Bergerac. I have no idea what that means. Well, of course I'm referencing the play, not the real Cyrano. Whatever. I will be whoever you need me to be as long as I get that propeller. Puppy open. Well, his parents are still alive, but they're major assholes. Stole his money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Thanks, Sam. Best news ever! Sam! 
So Sam, you expect us to believe you went out and did all this stuff by yourself? I think you had a little help. Who gives a shit what you think? You guys just sit on your asses all day while this hero goes out into the city, all to get you a bunch of useless shit so you can be happy. I don't know about you, but that inspires me. Makes me want to be a hero to this hero. I know we can do it. Together. We're gonna have to work hard. Sam forgot one thing. If you don't help him, I'll throw your ass out on the street to fend for yourself. I'm on board with this. Hey, let's get to work. Cool speech. I'm ready. What is it? It's a 3D printer. It's gonna make you a new propeller. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know. Mm, but it needs a faster processor. Of course it does. I'll see what I can find. out there. Margaret told me she saw a cheerleader kill a bunch of scabs, then steal their stuff. You're telling me to be careful because of cheerleaders? Well, more like cheerleader assassins. Right. You know, tell Margaret to take breaks from the comic books. I got a situation here. I need to move my operation to the construction yard down the street. But it's full of freaks. Can you, like, clear the shit out of the place? Oh, and if you see any scabs, don't say anything about me, okay? Fuckers beat me up and, well, let's just say we got history.
Tight. Looks like you got them all. I could use a hand with some of this equipment. Come on, help a brother out. This is pure ethanol. Dangerous shit. But I need it to make my special recipe. Oh shit! The scabs found me. Don't let them take me. Use your guns and shit. You can even use my ethanol. It's a super dope explosive. Pick up one of those barrels and chuck it at him! I'm gonna go hide, yo. Blow the shit out of those scab holes. We know you're here somewhere, Jess! Come on out! I just wanna keep you brewing. I promise not to hurt you like last time. Yeah! yeah hurt science, me. bitch! Make it on your own. We own the whole market. I make a superior product. Take some rewards and shit. I'm gonna get set up and start brewing the best batch of vodka ever. Then I think I'll have myself a nice blue velvet martini, yo. So, Floyd, any idea where I can find some high-end computer parts? Computer parts? Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no! There's a guy that lives in a cell phone tower nearby. He's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. How do I get over there? yourself up there. Been hearing a lot of gunfire coming from up in that treehouse. Some people say there's a crazy hillbilly up there who'll shoot anything that moves. Sounds like a walking cliche. Man, we're all walking cliches in somebody's eyes.
was a tree-dwelling hillbilly, where would I keep my computer parts? Gotcha, you disco some bitch. I'm not from Fizco. What do I look like, an asshole? Well, maybe not a Fizco asshole. But I'm gonna shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fizco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from How'd you think you were gonna do that when I got this here gun? Yeah, I got guns too. Damn! But how do I know you can use them? I'm an American. I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. And don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera, too. Thanks. Because I wasn't already creeped out enough by you. Well, I got cameras all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the redneck running man.
for you. are on the table. I got my Bucky's perched in blinds all over the city. Cameras ready to roll. Just find them and do what you do. You'll be paid back in time. Get off my lawn. So, let's see here. And we're off! Hey, if you do find a way out of the city, you'll come back and rescue us, right? Come back? To Sunset City? Why would I... Of course you'll come back and save us. You're you! I'm sorry. I don't even know why I questioned it. <clears throat> so, this will take a few hours to finish. Uh, I'll let you know when it's done. Man, 
is Floyd. I'm ready for another cook. Come on back when you're ready. Copy that, science guy. Hey, looks like you got all the ingredients we need. Don't lose them on the way back. Over here. Look into the future. Boo Boo is the best $100,000 my parents ever spent. Did you see those traps outside the base? I ran out of time setting them up. Can you finish the job for me? Set up a few more hack and slay traps around that barricade. Get out to the front of the base. I've been messing around with some trap designs. Just uploaded the plans for a new trap to your phone. Hack and slay traps will chop up any OD that get near it. Traps won't hurt you, don't worry. I just uploaded the fling board trap to your phone. This trap will send enemies back to where they came from. Be sure to point it away from the base. You gotta keep an eye on your power usage. Each time you place a trap, it will use up some power. When we're out, we're out. You can always remove traps to get power back. Keep an eye on your traps. The OD can destroy them. If a trap is destroyed, you'll get power back. Power grid is at max capacity. Place as many traps as you can. These traps should be good for tonight, but we'll need better ones soon. I'm no engineer. Or am I? Well, there might be other survivors out there who know how to build better traps. So look around when you're out in the city. When you're done placing traps, turn that valve and we'll get down to business. All right, way to use up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed.
hit close to the bat. knows you, so I gave him your propeller. Wait, what? He looks kind of pissed. Yeah, that's Walter. Hey, kid. Nice try with the propeller, but you fucked it up. Meet me at the overpass. God damn it. Hey, you know what? These Santabots have some kick-ass cleaning fluid inside. If we break it open and get the fluid, we can use it to give our vats a deep cleaning. That means better amps for you and better research data for me. Go ahead, bust this thing open and get the cleaning fluid. Yeah, all right. There should be some more Santabite units around here somewhere. Find them, smash them, and get that cleaning fluid. the fort, right?
looking for upgrade parts, right? for stuff to upgrade the fort, right?
Yeah! Nothing better than a nice, clean vat, except for maybe a foot rub. I love this foot rub. Anyway, enjoy the upgrade next time we cook an amp. I have new creations. Come drape yourself in my jeans. Looking. The name's Reginald. I'm what you'd call a hobo, vagabond, mobile survivor. Friends call me Red Caboose Reggie on behalf of my potent chili stew. I've got a bit of an issue with this here train. As I'm sure you noticed, it's not going anywhere. I need some new digs. You think you could procure the train engine over in yonder yard? engine the chili cone reggie express you 
think you could escort this steamy can out of the station? For you, Reggie, anything. is hobo friendly. We might get some hop-ons. Hey, what are you going with our train, you bum? I thought we told you to clear out! I'm a hobo, not a bum! Big difference! You're a dead man! Let's show these stew burners how to catch the westbound. Stay close to the train and keep them off old Chili Red. place to put together a hobo jungle. No one around to stop old Reg from cooking. <laughs> if only some of my hobo buds were still around to join me. Well, at least you can come back and see me sometime. Thanks for the kindness, friend.
working my ass off to repair this thing, then you go behind my back and make a new propeller. You looking to steal my glider? No, it wasn't like that. I... I'm fucking with you, kid. Can't you see me smiling? Ha ha. It's a fine propeller. We're almost ready to fly out of here. The only problem is, a few minutes ago, some scabs stumbled across the glider. I held them off, but they stole my glide wheel. Glide wheel? Sounds made up. Well, how about you make yourself up a way to get it back? And hurry, those scabs will be back soon. I'll wait here. I saw the scabs heading towards the amphitheater, down by the waterfront. Smokestack updraft to give us enough of a boost to escape.
I fitted this thing with some weapon. Give him a try.
We'll miss you. You cranky motherfucker. I'm sorry, Floyd. I just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Yeah. Hey, Walter talked about this guy named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, I bet he'll figure out how to escape the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. and I ended up together. Now I just assumed you were twin brothers. So many similarities. We met at a party. Or was it the DMV? I can't remember. Anyway, one thing I do remember is Walter didn't judge me for how I looked, how I talked, how I dressed. He told me, don't judge people. Judge their actions. He was he kind of a zen motherfucker that way, and I loved him for it. He and I talked about you a lot. Uh-oh, my character moment sense is tingling. Is there something special about you? But it's buried beneath a whole lot of wise ass. Gee, thanks for the revelation, Freud. <laughs> Damn it, I just proved your point, didn't I? Like I said, man, I don't judge people, just their actions. My point is, don't let you get in the way of yourself. Do you just cook up a philosopher amp or something? I built a new gun. My best work yet. Trust you will put her to good use. Say F you to your enemies with this high rate of fire assault rifle. F you! That gun is reliable, creative, and works very hard for you, like me.
Miss Brill Cream, he's a lifelong scouting expert and troop leader. He and his senior troop were marching in the parade during the overcharge party, and I guess they all got chased to the Japanese museum. What do you mean, senior troop? These aren't all little kids, roast marshmallows, and tie knots. They're older, more focused on life skills, volunteering, conservations, and shit like that. Oh, so basically, the anti -me. Hey, you said it, not me. breaking into a Japanese museum. How did you get in here? I'm looking for a guy named Brill Cream. Troop Master Brill Cream is missing. Well, maybe I can help you find him. Maybe you'll be lucky if I let you live. Kind of a dick, huh? Treason! Arrest for Kim and banish her from the troop! Chill out, Mussolini. I am the troop master, and this is my troop! Ah, oh, man. Are you gonna tell me where Brill Cream is, or what? You wanna find Brill Cream? You must do as I say. My troop has been trying to locate Troopmaster Brill Cream via radio, but all they hear is this. Doctors recommend drinking 17 cans of overcharge a day. And... The radio station is located here. If you destroy all three transmitters around the tower, we have a better chance of locating Troopmaster Brill Cream. So, you think you can do that? Sure thing. Be right back. Uh-oh, these guys look tough. 
Molotov. transmitters blew up so big. Holy shit, looks like that kicked the hornet's nest. above somewhere. Sorry, Mr. Transmitter. Nothing personal. Okay, one more. To the top we go. Getting really aggressive. 
aggressive. You think you're hurting me, but you're not! Fixed your radio for you. What? You're alive? I'm not gonna lose to a blimp. That would be humiliating. Well, my troop thanks you for your service. Goodbye. Wait! You'll let me know if you find Brill Cream, right? Oh, yes. Brill Cream, of course. We'll keep looking for him. Thank you again. Hey, it's Sam. Come back to our base. There's someone here that wants to talk with you. And she's kind of cute. My name is Forkin. Hey, sorry about the whole banished from the troop thing. It's for the best. Troopmaster Norton is a bad guy. Even though he says he's trying to find Brill Cream, he's not. I overheard him whisper something about Troopmaster Brill Cream at the hot dog factory. 
I hear this Brill Cream guy is really smart. He's a genius. A uh, genius that might be trapped in a hot dog factory? I'm worried. He's been missing for a couple of weeks. We'll find him. You mean, I'll find him. Someone has to stay here and comfort for Kim. Right. Keep up the good work, Sam. Hey, hey, hey. You know that big parking garage in old little Tokyo? It's packed with all kinds of electronics we could totally use. But it's scab turf. You know what? You could lure some OD over there to help take care of the scabs. My sociology prof said passive-aggressive warfare is the future. I have brilliant new designs for you. So, uh, what's the deal with the hot dog factory? I mean, if you're trying to survive the apocalypse, hot dogs are the last thing you should eat. True Master Brogreen is a master at boosting morale. Maybe he thought a hot dog cookout... Gandhi once said, an eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. I mean, I'm not saying you need to be Gandhi or the Dalai Lama or whatever. Just pointing out that sometimes there might be a more effective way of getting what you want. Other than shooting everything in the face, that is. to smash some vending machines and set off some car alarms.
your way. Wait, you can use them to help clear everybody out. Charge up this weapon and throw a strike every time! Come on, abide! Freeze your enemies in their tracks with this bomb that releases a freezing mist in a small radius! Go. Shot full of secret crap. Thank <laughs> you. 
kill it. intel to have at the top of this caper? But we need more evidence. <sighs> a troop leader's hat seems like something a troop leader would wear. That could be Brill Creeps. He was always wearing his hat. I think we just need one more piece of evidence. You guys sure do think by the book, don't you? Troop Master Brill Creep teaches us that discipline is the most important virtue. Discipline. I'm unfamiliar with that word. Read this note out loud. Meet me in the park for a picnic. I love you. Okay, well that's helpful. 
Okay, guess I'm going down to the park to look for some keys. And maybe even have a date. <laughs> Hey, Fork Him! Sam's not being too annoying, is he? Not anymore. He kept trying to hold my hand, so I put my judo badge into action and snared him in a rear naked choke. Nice! But go easy on him. I get the sense he doesn't have much experience with the ladies. Well, he's been a perfect gentleman since. He showed me around, I met his friends. He even taught me how to do a little C++. Wow! Be sure to invite me to the wedding. I love free food. Wait, what? Okay, I found the picnic site. So it looks like the crane guy either turned OD or was mauled. Damn it, I need those keys to the crane. If we're lucky, he turned OD. Go kill some and see if any of them have the key. Ah, just what I need. Let's go. story.
Two weeks ago. What does it say? It says, Hot dog spoiled, heading to Hepcat to meet Norton. Scabs on my trail. We'll try to lose them. Let's meet at Hepcats and look for more clues. I knew Norton was involved somehow. Troop Master Norton? Hey, Norton. How's that search for Brill Cream going? <clears throat> Not good. I believe it's time to call it off. Not yet. I'm following up on a lead. Oh? I found a note from Broke. He said he was going to meet you at Hepcat's diner. Whatever happened with that? Well, as I recall, uh, he never showed up. Where did you find that note? You're lying, Norton. What are you hiding? How dare you? A troop master never lies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important troop matters to attend to. Troop Master Norton? Hey, Norton. How's that search for Brill Cream going? <clears throat> Not good. I believe it's time to call it off. Not yet. I'm following up on a lead. Oh? I found a note from Brill Cream. He said he was going to meet you at Hepcat's diner. Whatever happened with that? Well, as I recall, uh, he never showed up. Where did you find that note? You're lying. What are you hiding? How dare you? Troop master never lies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important troop matters to attend to. Meet me at Hepcat's diner. I think Fort Kim could be in trouble. On my way. out there. It's dangerous. And I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Four kids just left. She said those smoke signals at the train station could be grill cranes. But I saw a bunch of scabs going after her. You gotta get up there. Wait here. For Kim, but her phone is dead. Oh, I hope she's okay. She probably turned her phone off. Either that or she's sick of your constant texting. Did she at least go armed? She's always prepared. She had a baseball bat and a book on how to tie knots. Clever girl. I'm at the bottom of the station. It looks like a whole scab legion is occupying this place. That's you downstairs. Yes, it's me. Seeing me. Good. Keep doing what you're doing. You're a very 
very good distraction. Oh, the scabs are leaving the platform. This is my chance to rescue Brill Cream. Can you see him? No, but the SOS signal is coming from the train on the platform. Oh my god, are you saying that he turned into a train? I'm going in. Wait, I'm almost at the platform. Don't do anything stupid. That's my job. Look at him go. Why can't I move like that? Kim doing? She said she was going to check out the train. I haven't heard from her since. She's probably dead. What? I guess there's a chance she's still alive, but I won't know until I get... Get her on the train and don't hurt her. He'll run her alive. <sighs> Brill Cream's not here. It's a... Cream is in a garbage truck, but they didn't garbage know where. Truck, huh? well, the whole garbage system is automated. The trucks are equipped with GPS transmitters. If you come back to our base, I might be able to figure out a way to track it down. Okay, cool. I'm on my way. Wait, how do we communicate with Sam when neither of us is holding a phone? Uh, you know, technology. Technology. Let's not complicate things by poking holes in the way we deliver the story, okay? Oh. Okay, then. I'm gonna go back to the base and be magically gone by the time you have control. Fine by me. That's not weird at all. Hey, man, I found a new place to set up shop. More square footage, better feng shui. Come on over whenever you get a chance. You gotta get some more ingredients before we can cook. I learned a few other things while I was interrogating those scabs. They said they were working with Norton. He was supplying them with plans for upgraded weapons in return for protection. Asshole! Then he sent them to the train station as soon as he hung up with me. 
I would go kick his butt right now, but he has the rest of the troop on his side. The only way we're going to win them over is to find Royal Cream and return him to the troop. We're working on that right now. I need to do some research into the garbage truck system. Their signals are analog. Blech. Tough to track down. Call me when you figured it out. You bet. These guys aren't kidding around. other things while I was interrogating those scabs. They said they were working with Norton. He was supplying them with plans for upgraded weapons in return for protection. Asshole! I bet he sent them to the train station as soon as he hung up with me. I would go kick his butt right now, but he has the rest of the troop on his side. The only way we're going to win them over is to find Brule Cream and return him to the troop. We're working on that right now. I need to do some research into the garbage truck system. Their signals are analog. Ugh, tough to track down. Call me when you've figured it out. You bet. Hey, man, I think I figured out a way to upgrade these vats. See, if we add some Freon-based cooling actuators and reverse the ionic charge of uh, blah, 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 science and bullshit, just go find some old refrigerators and bring me some spare parts. A letter? For me? Huh. Want to uncover the truth behind Overcharge? The real truth? Wait for my call at the dog park. Ooh, sounds intriguing. Better head to the dog park. Keep it going!
out on the bridge. Well, it's okay to kill them because they are criminals and because they yell mean things at me.
be able to make some even more kick-ass amps. They'll be kick-assier, or kicker-assier, or assier kick. They'll be, you know, shut up, you know what I mean? so listen close we're gonna blow the lid off this whole conspiracy fisco was supposed to burn all the top secret memos but one of their admins dropped some into recycling bins instead those bins are now inside recycling trucks parked around the city get the memos and bring them to the dead drop location this is some serious spy movie action this would be way better with some spy movie music Come 
for a month. Recycling truck now open. Drop the memos off in the dumpster. I'll process them and set up another meeting. We're gonna make Fisco pay for what they did to us. Okay, hope Mr. Mysterious knows what he's doing.
I'm seeing Fizco presence all through the city. Hey, we have a serious problem. Scabs set up turrets on the boardwalk near the diner. How do you know that? None of you ever go outside. Secret cameras. Fizco installed two types around the city, the big ones and tiny secret ones. I hacked into the tiny secret ones. That's so you, Sam. Thanks. Anyway, turrets on the boardwalk. Can you take care of them? So I've been watching them set up these turrets. They somehow automated them to blow away everything except scabs. You gotta help me figure out how they did that. in a kid's fun house using secret cameras to spy on everyone. You don't feel a bit creepy about that? I, um, well, I thought I was more watching over the city, like a big brother. set up on the stage. Uh, pick it up for me, would you? Looks like they're using that thing to control the turrets. Oh, let's mount it on the roof and see if we can do a counter hack. Plant the dish on the roof and let's stop those turrets. Easy peasy pizza. <laughs> like the scabs have moved their operation across the street. They have the turrets programmed to ignore assholes and hoodies. So I can hack them to ignore you if you're not being an asshole. So I need to keep my mouth shut. You need to fight with style, you know, not like an asshole. Just keep your style up. Get rid of the scabs and don't shoot any turrets. We need them. Keep up that style. The turrets are ignoring you. I move like that. 
those scabs will think twice before they bring any turrets around here. I'm gonna reprogram these to shoot anyone that looks like an asshole so you can use them too. Oh, aren't I amazing? Hello. Are you still there? out of ammunition. Hope you're doing something worthwhile with it. God damn, this city stinks. If you find anything good, send a commission to Two Hat Jack. Here you go. Shot full of secret crap. You come back soon, okay? But not too soon, though. It all weird. Do you want to fight? Let's fight! Stop talking. No. No. Place. Don't worry, you can still go back to the brewery if you want. Uh, but this base will let us brew some new amps. I installed another vat, so make sure you check in on both vats often. We got ourselves a nice corner spot here, but that means we'll need to protect the base from two angles. Like I said, we got two vats now, which means better amps, but more vigilance, you know? The vats all pull from the same source, so we'll lose overcharge if either one gets attacked. Remember to use your traps, and you should do just fine, for the most part.
All right, way to use up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed.
work. Let me know how those amps work out for you. We figured out how to track down that garbage truck and find Brill Cream. Go pick up the analog hacker I sent your way. Poor Kim and I worked through the night on this. It's pretty brilliant, if you ask me. Oh, right. So anyway, we need you to get to a satellite dish nearby. We'll explain on the way. The satellite dishes are the best tool to help us find Brill Cream. Right. You see, by using the dishes, we can triangulate his last known position. You know, our troop has a monthly tea hunt, which stands for transmitter hunt, where someone sets up a transmitter in the forest. Then we all walk around with parabolic receivers. And you plot the position of the transmitter by triangulating two vectors to the source. Yeah, it's really fun. We only get a compass and a paper map. Guys, guys, stop, before one of you has a nerdgasm. I'll use the dishes to find the missing dude. You can't expect me to listen to your public radio show about it. the hell am I going to get over there? Nice! Dish. We need to find real cream signal. Okay, you're patched in. Let's test it out. Aim the dish at the museum. I could have sworn These I heard. Dangerous we times. should just and give dangerous up times on real cream. To become men. Isn't our motto to Do you not understand? give up through rain, snow, or sleet? Son of a beeswax! I will twist off this tiny little... Okay, sounds like it's working. Aim around and listen for the trucks beeping. Hold on. 14 million 100,012, Mississippi. 14 million 100,013, Mississippi. That's him. Yes! I'm recording the vector of your dish. Visco, backtraced our hack. Watch out! With that jammer active, we'll never be able to triangulate Brill Cream's position with a second satellite dish. You have to destroy that jammer. Poor Kim, do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay. Well, no. Oh, Sam, you are smooth. So smooth. Hey, Sam, if we find Brill Cream, what are the chances he'll figure out a way to escape the city? Well, as I just learned from Poor Kim, Brill Cream literally wrote the book on troop survival strategies. So I'd say we have a pretty good shot. Unless he's dead. In which case, we're fucked. Not how I put it, but yes.
got one angle, but we need to narrow it down. Head to the other dish marked on your map. Why don't I just follow the... No, that's not how triangulation works. Better listen to her. She can be... What? Right. All the time. cooking all them crazy drinks, it's him. But that punk's been jumping around killing us for ages. Just a hired goon. That Floyd guy, he's the hero of this game. Well, each man creates a universe in which he is the center. Nah, reality is an objective state. Subjectivism is hubris. Nope, not there. He's getting worse, my lord. We need a hero, a champion. I'm sure that's not foreshadowing or anything. Hey, dun dun dun! Got fish. So? We've been eating garbage for weeks. Why don't we eat them fish? You crazy? I bet they're poisonous. What? Yeah, them's fugu. You gotta be a max level sushi chef to cut them right. That's a catfish with a paint job. That's not him. so long but your time's up as soon as that numb nuts lets us into the museum we're taking over do what you want with me but leave my troop alone they're good kids i got the second vector uploading the coordinates to your phone go 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 okay chill Charge is moving! Ah! 
Fine work. Worthy of a fine survivalist. Uh... Perhaps you would like to join my troop. I'm not wearing a sash. Well, your skills are top-notch. I would like you to escort me to my troop. Sure. Um... Back to the troop headquarters! Quickly! Those creatures are coming this way! How long were you trapped in there? 16 days, 20 hours, 8 minutes. It's amazing that you are still alive. I'm a survivalist. I do what it takes. How did you find it? That's kind of my thing. When people are in trouble, I grind over with some guns and kill all the troubles away. Do you have a spare weapon? I will help you fight. Norton! True Master Brill Cream? How did you... <clears throat> We've been looking everywhere for you, sir. Why did you have to look for me when you already knew where I was? What are you doing? Open this door! North! It is time for you to face the consequences of your actions. I'll drink it! Don't be a coward. Take your punishment like a man. Norton! No! Run, troops! Run!
Borkim, I want to thank you for your loyalty and persistence. Your character and actions are worthy of commendation. Thank you, sir. As for your friend? You can keep your commendation. I just want you to tell me how to get out of the city. Hmm, that is a difficult proposition. Fisco has blocked all exit routes. I'm afraid there is no escape. Seriously? Fuck! Unless... I need a pencil. Paper! <laughs> Done! Bring these plans to my friend Ignatius, head of the shipbuilders union. You should find him near the harbor. This guy's gonna build a ship? Better than that. He's gonna give you a way out of the city. Hey, uh, so one thing you should know about this guy, Ignatius, he's a hardcore LARPer. Uh, what the hell is a LARPer? Live action role player? You mean those dorks with foam swords who go out into the woods and yell lightning bolts at each other? It's fantasy fulfillment, and it's a lot cooler than that, but, uh, yes. Okay, so he's a LARPer. Why do I care? Well, I heard that he was in the park with a bunch of other LARPers on Horror Night. When they got attacked by OD, they all kind of got psychologically broken. <laughs> Don't you mean more psychologically broken? Just be careful. Come on, they're LARPers. They gonna shoot me with a foam arrow? <laughs> Hey, it's Floyd. You you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. New fashions just came. Trooper is always watchful. Justice. Oh my god, this is bad. I broke a cat. It says right on there that if you break one, you'll have a lifetime of bad luck. Unless you replace it with, like, a bunch more. I don't want bad luck for the rest of my life. You gotta help me. There's a group of scabs over by the mall. I think they might have some. Justice? are using lucky cats to make bombs. How stupid is that? They're gonna have bad luck for like forever. criticism.
is what bad luck feels like. Now that Brill Cream's back, things will finally get back to normal. I would be grateful for your help. I need to track someone down. It's for the benefit of the troop. Her name is Kim, and if we find her, she can upgrade the museum's perimeter defense system. We must be discreet about this. Meet me at the apartment complex nearby. I'll be waiting on the street. And don't tell anyone else in the troop. I'll explain later. Call her just Kim. See, I have four Kims in my name, but she has only one. Oh, whatever. Let's just find her. I know she's in this complex somewhere. She sent me a video of a trap she was making, but I didn't respond. Now she's gone silent. Watch out! OD incoming! Thanks. Glad you're here. The lobby's up ahead. Come on. Come on, that lobby door should be around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Scabs in here. Why don't you cover the rooftop? Check any doors that look suspicious. Hey, Thorkip! Now would be a good time to explain why this is a secret mission. Just Kim is an old friend of mine. 
We used to be troop buddies, but she got kicked out. She's kind of a pyromaniac. This one time she was using bottle rockets and marshmallows and, well, let's just say she set fire to a few kids. Burrell Cream was furious. He's a stickler for safety and all that, so she was banned. But she's really good at making awesome traps. We could really use her expertise. Just keep checking doors. I'm sure we'll find her around here somewhere. Hello? Just Kim? Push it! doing here omg it's you you have a base at the hepcat diner right omg i've been watching you at night you're amazing i know um we could really use some of your turrets for your base or for kim's uppity troop come on does it matter whatever okay i'll give you my turret plans thank you if you show me you can handle them you will kill one million OD right here on this roof. I'll lure them in from the east side of the complex, but I can't guarantee they won't come from other directions too. One million OD? I don't want to be here all day. Okay, fine. One thousand. One hundred. Then you give us the plans and we move on. One twenty-five. My final offer. But you can't use any guns! <laughs> guns, but you can still bash their brains in! <laughs> okay, ready to impress me with those turrets? Don't let them drink all the overcharge, or I'll make you start over. <laughs>
It's just a little one. But when it triggers the emergency system, we'll get more power for turrets. Ha! Go ahead, play some more turrets. yours. Cool, thanks. If you give me your phone number. You know, for trap tips and stuff. Ugh, okay. Just promise not to call me when I'm busy. Which is pretty much all the time. OMG! OMG! Best day ever! You, you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. Hey, it's Floyd. You, you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is up. Hey, I need to work on my maritime badges, but scabs on the whole waterfront. Can you run them out of there? Permanently? You know about scabs. You get rid of them, and the next day, they've all just respawned. Unless. <sighs> okay, I got an idea. First things first, I need to find a herker. But it needs to be a really ugly one. Thank you. 
scare these scabs off permanently. them all away. They're never coming back after that. Thank you so much. Hey, sure thing. It was fun. Hmm, guess it backfired a little. Back off! I'm not one of you! Hey, this boy! You, you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amp. It's amazingly amazing. This is over. I'm gonna buy you a story. Probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. <laughs>
there. I'm looking for Ignatius. Interloper! Whoa, whoa, what's an interloper? Somebody call off Roid Rage! Uh. Come forth, burglar, and face my justice! Uh, do you wish to swear fealty to the king? Yeah, fealty. Let's do it. Proceed to the altar. <laughs> On bended knee. Do you swear by the old gods and the new to serve King Ignatius? <coughs> Wait, that's Ignatius? <laughs> Do you swear fealty? Yeah, yeah, by all the gods and trees and wizards and stuff. Is my quinceanera over now? <coughs> you may rise. I'm not a doctor, but does the king need a coroner? Alas, our king has fallen ill. I pray you can liberate him from the spirits that afflict him. I sense some epic missions in my future. My name is Wendy. And I'm the only one around here who's not living in a 12th century fantasy. So listen, Ignatius is sick, for real. He needs 21st century food and medicine. Got it. Real food and medicine and maybe a shrink dressed as a cleric or something? Seriously, he needs your help. I'm worried for him. Pardon, good knight. Wicked Fizco warlocks have tainted Fargathia. Metallic golems have placed a hidden evil around our kingdom. I get the metallic golems part, but what's this about a hidden evil? They are abominable, pulsing crimson watchers. I beseech ye, destroy them. Look there. The eye controlleth thine metal hand. Such foul sorcery. Our arrows cannot penetrate yon magic shield. Perchance a pointed stick would suffice.
your last and undoubtedly fatal trial. Our rangers report seeing a crimson eye atop the Forsaken Lighthouse. It has the entirety of Forgarthia in its sinister gaze! be another way up there. remain vigilant. Further evil must be stopped if our land is to remain safe. Weapons, I swear! Ho! Oh, Fargathian scouts report more crimson eyes in the southern harbors. We beg of thee, please, keep us safe from the warlock menace! Hey, uh, I've been keeping my own benevolent eye on the situation over there. Those crimson eyes, they're Fizco control modules. I can't hack them. They're not on any of the city's networks. You can't hack something? Wow, this is a first. I'm uploading a frequency to your phone. You should be able to at least parse their transmissions. Protocol X-26. 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 Protocol
Jack, did you? Come on, come buy stuff. Protocol X26. 
Protocol not detected. Station on hold. No trains detected. Remaining on hold. Waiting for physical protocol X26. Protocol not detected. Station on hold. What is this protocol X26 thing they're talking about? Eh, probably nothing. Crimson. No more crimson eyes of madness. But be wary. Evil still lurks in the northern realms. Come with thee back to the kingdom when thou hast an appetite for more of God's work. Vargathians brook no rapscallions. Ah, our knight is ready to smite new evil in the realm of Fargathia. I fear the evil hath spread to the north. Make haste. Hey, Sam. So these physical controllers aren't really doing much evil. They're not doing much of anything, really. What do you think they're for? I wish I knew. Best just to destroy them. Although, if you find out anything by listening to their transmissions, let me know.
citywide network, see what I can find. Let us not to us, good knights, as long as the beat maddening crimson eyes have gone dark. Thou hast bravery for a thousand men. Just... A fortnight passed, our stores were raided by a band of ruffians. Our king is weak and needs sustenance. Sorry, I don't speak, Dungeon Master. Some scabs stole all our food. Silence, Anachronizer! <sighs> Whatever. We shall journey into the forest together. There, we will gather our victuals. Sure thing, Bob. Lead the way. This way! Here we come, Vittles! What are Vittles? Alas! Ah! Oh, a quest! I shall serenade you along the way. No songs! Till we reach the forest. Now we ride! King Ignatius has not eaten since our stores of ragweed expired. You guys have been eating weed? Ha! That explains a lot. Listen, edibles can mess you up. You gotta be careful. I have faith you will revive after supping on a traditional meal. Here comes your hour of peace! Oh, thank you. Oh, me, countrymen! I know a secret route. More dangerous, but much quicker. Hey, draw the head! Holy shit, look at 
the size of that. I know. Pray harder, but... Holy shit! Blast! Only I had my cloak of invisibility! Continue to the forest to fuck Arthia! Our king sickens by the minute! The hour of hunting is nigh! The forest lies close! Bard, climb atop the castle battlements and prepare thine vocals! We shall patrol the forest before our hunt! Behold! The legendary Fargarth Forest! What's with all the dead bodies? Our fallen brethren, slain whilst harvesting tree bark for our king. You're gonna feed your king tree bark? Oh, now I get it. You hate your king, and now you're trying to slowly poison him with bark stew. How dare you? Tree bark is a staple of many a medieval diet. You do know that all those medieval people died horrible deaths, right? Ugh, I keep forgetting I'm dealing with crazy people. Battle is coming, let me sing the song of puns. I can smell the breath of our enemies, but a bunch of sodding. Yes, lovely tune, quite enough, Bard, thank you. Anachronizer, you are tasked with guard duty while we perform the dangerous and honorable harvest. Do not let the goblins slay us, or our spirits will haunt you for eternity. I blacksmithed up some catapults. They should help in battle. They come from the gutter, they come from the pit. This song makes them hate us, what buggering pieces of shit. Wait for it, wait for it. Fire when ready. At the castle. Just look toward any catapult and say the word! They'll be dead in no time! To the first copse of trees! Bard, commence the song of hunts! A small party of goblins coming from the power plant! Come to the and pit, and we fight back and At the castle! Fire! Hawkish launchers near the pony bugger! We hit, we slash, we scratch, we slay! At the Saxburg! Fire! We spill their blood, such a flood, it takes blood. One to one, we can knock it down. We take the race, we take the brown. Three, two, there we drown. Hawkish launchers bolted at the boat house! <laughs> Yeah. 
left. Flag bearers, near the Bonny Burger. The king, the king, the mighty king. He helps us when he helps us sting. The creatures come to get us and take us to my back and they cheer. Flag bearers, near the Bonny Burger. Chandler, sire, mayhap I have a word. Silence, Anachronizer! Where be our bard? Uh, he's dead. Bye! We cannot harvest without song! Uh, can I be the new bard? I'm sick of being a smither. I want to be something more fun. Indeed! You may play as the new bard! Kick ass! Commence the harvest and sing loudly, bard! Sing for the gods! Orcish archers coming from the power plant! We must harvest with speed, disband, and spill the blood of these miscreants! Plague bearers under the castle! The king's a mighty king, he helps us when he helps us. Strange creatures come from better than big and we fight back and they shit! Berserkers approach from the corner burger! Goblin fools, stay away Into the earth we spill their blood Such a flood, it makes mud One, two, one, two, chop it down So lay bears near the boat house Four, buried around, buried around Holy 
Sheesh. <coughs> Forsooth, countrymen. That was amazing. Allow me to thank thee for thy skills on the battlefield. Thou dost possess the strength of Samson and the wisdom of Solomon. And the power of love. Now go feed Ignatius that bark jerky and let me know when he's conscious. I have work for him. Let us return to our king with haste! It's not a hit in the spot. What a surprise. Okay, send a crew to meet me at the farmer's market. We'll haul back some real market is bound to have at least a few fruits and vegetables. Potatoes, at least. They had those in the 12th century, right? What the? Where did all the food go? You stupid fat pigeons ate all the food! Why? You can get by on cigarette butts and litter! Ugh! Where is thy food you spoke of? Huh. Fat pigeons. Fat pigeons? They had pigeons in the 12th century, right? Welcome to the Pigeon Dome. Many pigeons enter. Some might leave. Use the grind cookers and pyro geysers to roast pigeons. Got a flaming compensator? That'll work too. Whip it out. Ready, set, roast. Lure entire flocks into the flames for a massive pigeon combo! Pigeon combo! Ultra pigeon combo! Mega ultra pigeon combo! It is working! Pigeons approaching henceforth! Adam 
Adamantium Platinum Super Macro Holy Mega Ultra Pigeon Combo! Enough of this foolishness. Back to Fogarthia! With speed! Dragon in the head! We cannot pass! Let's see what we have here! Fresh meat! Hand over the chicken dinners, nerd! You dare threaten our king? We are safe! For now! Okay! Let's get moving again! Unwind, pass! They're raising the drawbridge! The boat? How ever shall we cross it? You're trapped now, losers! Ravens! Our feast is nobody lower that drawbridge until they hand over that meat! Scandalous Niverwars curry no favor with Fargarthia! I may level up by the time this is over. Tis a fine day to farm for XP, I. I may level up by the time this is over. The beasts attack! Thank you, Sir Obvious. Our journey is in danger. We must fight to save the king's beast. Go forth and meet them with the by the king's soul. A raid, boss. We must protect the king's feet! Your king awaits his vittles. Right you are, Hunter! To the king! King Ignatius, eat, so you may be reborn. If he barks up that gutter chicken, I'm out of here. Our king sleeps peacefully. You have done well, my lord. We are forever indebted. Perhaps you would like to share in the king's feast? Eh, no thanks. I think I'd rather eat bark. Our king suffers from Satan's fire. You mean he has a fever? We know not how to release his demons. Perhaps you know a maester of the Citadel. 
sorry. I don't know a master from uh, City Hall, but I do know where to get some medicine. Sit tight. Oh, and when I get back with your drugs, we'll discuss my offense at your assumption that I would know where to find drugs. I remember seeing some pharmaceuticals down by the docks. Pharmaceutical shipments! Perfect! There's gotta be some cold medicine or something for Ignatius around here. Visco drone audio priority check engaged. Calculating. If survivors equals true, evidence equals true. If evidence equals true, Fisco financial safety equals false. Extrapolating. If Fisco robot equals unemployed, future happiness divides by zero. Result, continue killing survivors. Unauthorized access attempted. All Fisco trucks now in lockdown. Fisco security force en route. What? Ah, oh, man. Security defeated. Trucks now open. You earned it. Nice shooting, by the way. Hey, thanks, Mr. Truck. What do we have in here? Plan A. The night before the morning after pill. <laughs> no, that's not gonna help a fever. Riddle infant? Riddlin for babies? It was just a matter of time. Fizzo tussin! Ha! Finally, something that will cure a fever. Hey, it's Wendy. So, I hear you're out gathering medicine for Ignatius? Yeah! Actually, I just found some! I'm on my way back now. You need to make a stop on the way. I'll meet you at the park. <laughs> Is that code for get more drugs? Gross. Eh, it gets grosser. 
Take off all your clothes. Whoa, whoa! I'll try anything once, but I'd like to know what I'm getting into first. Ignatius can only be treated using 12th century medicine, which means bloodletting. I think I see where this is going. You need to strip to your undies and walk through the pond to collect peaches. Fuck that! All right. So it's just your average picnic in the park, then. I feel ridiculous. <laughs> this is gonna be so entertaining. Find my... Ah! Okay. Just be calm. Got the pad. Three. Ouch! Ah! God, this is a terrible fucking idea. Fuck Ignatius. And his mother. Ow! Pond. I think you sucked all the leeches out of that one. Try a different pond. I think you sucked all the leeches out of that one. is empty. Move to a new one. Ooh, that looks painful. No, only in certain uh, specific parts. <laughs> Just one last thing. You need to drink the whole bottle of Fizzotussin. The whole bottle? Why? We need to saturate the leeches with medicine. That way, when we attach them to Ignatius, the medicine will transfer to his bloodstream. I don't think that's how leeches work. Oh, so you're a leech expert now. Hey, I don't see you stripping down, so at least let me run my mouth a little if I'm going to get sucked dry like this. <coughs> we need to get you back to Ignatius before you lose too much blood. Wait up! You're not looking so good. Are you okay? <laughs> Everything looks so awesome! Hi there! You're lost, huh? Oh, uh, where's Wendy? Let's play tag! Oh, I'm in the wrong burrito right now. Wait. This is lame. How can we make it better? I know. Lava! Come and get me! Okay, <laughs> okay, go! Got it. Oh, my God. This is real. Oh, my God, I'm covered in leeches! Somebody help me! You're moving too slow. 
visit Justin is awesome. Come on. Hey, Fizzy, have you met my friends? Yeah, I don't know who they are either. Hurry up. We have more games to play. That's the notion of... Don't leave me, ninja chick. Hurry up. I think the leeches are fully medicated. Let's get them off you and onto Ignatius. Make it quick! Satan's fire has been quenched. You are a hero to Fargathia and a medical wizard. Perhaps you can take a look at this postulant growth I have on my- No! No! I, uh, only work on kinks. Sorry. It's the law. Against all odds, the king survived. Silence, fool! Chandler made me do it. I didn't want to be the new bard anyway. Now, step forward, Knight of Fargathia. You brought me back from death's cold door. And now, I must grant you a boon. Uh, this guy, Brillcream, he said you could build me a boat. I don't know if that's the same as a boon, but... Leave the plans with me, and I will study them. Return on the morrow, and I shall give further counsel. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? Oh, hey, uh, don't worry, I haven't been drinking at all. Just come back to the base. You're gonna like what I've got. Come back, man. We got amps to cook. Hey, so I've been thinking. We got all these different factions around the city. Maybe the OD aren't the only ones who change. Seems like the survivors are changing who they are too. Especially you. For the better, I hope. That's up to you to decide. All I know is the apocalypse makes people do some weird shit, and I love it. this time. Troop Bushido? Not surprised those kids survived. They were always prepared for anything. I'm using the boat engines to give our vats a little extra boost. But I could use some more surplus overcharge to keep the engines going. I called your buddy Sam for help. He's got a lead on some big barrels full of overcharge. That's right. I marked the locations of some trucks on your map. Get there and I'll give you further instructions.
controlled truck. If you fill it with barrels of overcharge, I can drive it back to your base. Wait, you're gonna drive a truck remotely from your little hacker's den? I can't wait to see this. Hey, I drove a train, didn't I? And no one can ever take that away from you. Visco installed tracking devices on all the overcharge barrels. I can give you a rough idea where they are. Find the barrels, then carry them to the truck and toss them in the back. Once it's full, I'll do the rest. Surprise there, did it work?
somewhere close by. to the truck.
take it from here. Overcharge delivery. Nice. Now picking up brains. Coming your way. The ship may not be seaworthy anymore, but it looks like the engine still works. We can use that to take our amp making operation to the next level. What do you say? I got one back on the aft deck, one up here at the center. I set up the barricades best I could. There's some on the port side. I also barricaded up the back loading bay. I even barricaded our starboard side. You can never be too careful. All right, way to use up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed. Man, Norton turned into a dragon and tried to kill everybody? You know what I do if I turn into a dragon? Just enjoy being a fucking dragon. survive. They were always prepared for anything.
Ha <laughs> ha! You can't sink this battleship! Don't forget to equip those new amps! There is one thing I need before I can commence with your vessel. Name it. You must help us slay the marauders that raided our food stores. But I already got you food. They also stole away with my kingdom's most sacred artifact. The crown of Vargania. Okay, but you guys should probably have guns. Nay, we shall not besmirch our honor with such sorcery. Sire, that is very fucking unwise. I am the king! By definition, everything I do is wise. Upon victory, I will construct your watercraft. To battle! Ignatius is rallying the knights, but there is a problem. Lawrence the Leper was sent to procure a figurehead and has not returned. Lawrence the Leper? Uh-uh. Nope, no more leeches and cough syrup. That was a one-time deal. Don't worry, he's not contagious. I don't think. Just get to the seafront shop in town. We need that figurehead. Ignatius just calls me that because I gave his sister crabs. Well, <laughs> he sent you on a really fucked up mission. Where's the figurehead? They took it, man. Who took it? They're everywhere. This place makes Cambodia look like poison.
kinda cool. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Sibilance. Sibilance. See, you have found the figurehead. By the way, Lawrence is dead. Leprosy takes its toll yet again. Littlefoot, taketh the figurehead and hitch it to yon siegecraft. Fargus! Time to make war! Push them back! Keep fighting! Come, dogs! Let me rip the hunter! This campaign is going twice yet. in the dragon's tail. Yeah, but it's barricaded the whole way. We have made arrangements for that. Really, my paladin, escort us to the wall. Hey, um, it's Merlin and his band of losers. Fight this with your foam swords. Fire! Paladin, use your magic missiles to shoot down those projectiles.
gentlemen. Onward, awake iron! Awake and drink the blood of these ruffians! <laughs> Be there a cleric on the field? Anyone have a healing potion? Alack, tis too late. My blood, my blood. My blood. Give me a fucking gun! <laughs>
day, and it would not be possible without our champion. And the time has come for our great paladin to leave us. But if you ever need me, send a raven or something. Fear not, my subjects. Let us return to Fargarthia and let blow the mead! What about my boat? Return to our castle on the morrow. Then I shall commence shipbuilding. Come to the base. The fleet is ready. This campaign is going quite smoothly. What the hell is this? These boats are junk. I am only following the plan that Master Brill Cream called for. You shall be safe with me, matey. Wendy? Trying out a new role. Bard didn't work out so well. On your journey, thou hast three tasks. Protect the flagship. Seek out the fiery elixirs. Throw the elixirs into the hole to heal the ship. <laughs> We need to patch up the ship before tackling the high seas. Grab some trash from over there. Trash? I thought he said fiery elixir. Wolf's made of trash. She needs more trash to fix her up so she don't sink. Great! Now bring it back and throw it in the hole. I started this game collecting trash. Now I'm collecting trash again. Oh! Patch her up, me hearty. Perfect! Now let's get going. Fare thee well, Paladin. We shall sing songs of your exploits. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish lady. But not right now. I name this ship HMS Doomed. We not be surviving this. Uh, maybe not you. I'll respawn right over there. The flagship is damaged! Grab some trash! Fantastic! The boys will patch us up in no time! Fix it up, boys! 
to raise the bridge. This lump of junk cannot stop. Keep it coming. 
coming. We've got plenty of leaks. Cannon, you can't change it. Kill them. I can see the ocean. We are almost free. There 
the Fizco sensors. Hopefully we'll pass undetected and float away with the rest of the trash. No life forms on board. 100% waste. Okay, I take back everything bad I said about brokering. This trash disguise is actually pretty genius. Total garbage. Nothing but trash. Complete rubbish. Unwanted junk. Sunset City. Hello, vacation. Sam? Help! This co is getting rid of the evidence! What evidence? Us! We're the evidence! We have to go. You're damn right we have to go. We're going right out to sea. We have to go back. Are you crazy? My friends need me. Ah, that'll be fine. We just went through hell to get out of there. Why would you want to go back? Before this whole thing started, I just floated through life, never taking anything seriously. Then horror night happened, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but my life didn't start until the world came to an end. That's why we're going back. What if I say no? Oi, oh, oi, Captain! Hold fast! We're coming about! Okay, landlubber. If you want to save your friends, you should go to Troop Bushido's base. Now!
check on Sam. Hurry. Thanks for your help. Hey, man, am I glad to see you. Pretty dangerous out there, huh? Well, uh, as long as you're out there, you mind grabbing some comics for me? I'll totally make it worth your while. I just remembered my buddy Jason was a bus driver. I think I might have given him one. You found one. Oh, man, this is great. Jason was dead, wasn't he? That's, uh, that's okay. You know, as I always say, comics are more important than friends. It would be awesome if you could find some more, though. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I forgot about Trina. She used to be my girlfriend, but then we had this super big blow up about Captain Thunder's origin story and whatever. I was right. Anyway, she worked at the hotel down the road. Maybe you can find it there. I just remembered, Anton was right next door the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, come get your reward. Hey, I, I was thinking about this whole apocalypse thing. So lots of people died and it's really sad. So why should their comics go to waste, right? A bunch of our regular customers had really good collections and they lived in the area, so go rescue those lonely comics. Now whatever the comics, the important part, right? 
right. Secrets. Let me try to remotely connect to it. Frack! It needs to be plugged into the Fizco network somehow. It's using a 512-bit landslave triple hash encryption algorithm. Oh, if only there was a Fizco network plug-in somewhere. There's a busy fortune machine over there. Let me to ask you for help. You're a genius! Bring the core over to the busy fortune machine. this in the back closet. It'll totally make you look like a superhero. You can be like the superhero who liberates comic books during the mutant apocalypse. That would be an amazing comic. Hey, I got this story idea. Check it out. Okay. You're the comic knight, upholder of the comics code and defender of comics in the apocalypse. What do you think? <laughs> awesome, huh? I draw it up, but I, I can't draw. 
or write, but I love reading. I got some leads on some more. You know, if you're truly the hero this city needs. I shipped out a bunch of books the week before the city turned. As Comic Knight, it's really your duty to liberate them from the clutches of the enemy and return them to good owners, like me.
now she's only being kept alive by a symbiotic mold. An evil mold. And the mold is in her head, making her totally crazy. I can see the movie already. Nemesis. I mean, think about what would happen if her musty mildewness ever got near your magic comic. Who knows if kitty litter and baking soda could even bring the magic back. Now, you ready for this ending? 
Definitely not. So in order to defeat Musty Mildew, the Comic Knight has to sacrifice the very thing he loves most. The Super Mint Magic Comic? Yeah. How did you know? Huh. I guess you are the Comic Knight. Yeah, and I'm not doing it. I've got comics to save. No way I'm giving up my powers for moldy old love. Wow, you're such an anti-hero. There's so much truth in this art. I'm done collecting. I've got to get to writing all this down. And you, good luck out there, Comic Knight. One man in this town believes in you. Man, these guys are serious.
Hello? That was amazing! Don't you mean we were amazing? We just killed the big robot! Yeah, we were amazing! I'm going to see if I can find anything interesting in the wreckage. Hey, I just got done decoding that data drive we got off that big Fizco mech. And it doesn't look good. There's lots of talk of an imminent threat that's going to destroy Sunset City entirely. How mysterious. Can we stop it? That's the thing. The data is so encrypted, I haven't been able to figure out what it is. All I know is that it's being stored somewhere inside Fizco HQ. Then it looks like it's time for some B&E. That's going to be difficult, even for you. The security at Fizco HQ is super tight, but I was watching some nearby camera feeds, and I noticed someone's been getting in there at night. Who? I can't really tell, but they look like cheerleaders with, like, Day of the Dead makeup. Oh, them. I tracked them back to Sunset City Hospital. Uh, try knocking? Hey, I'm gonna ask you to do something weird, but don't freak out, okay? I'm intrigued. I need you to go and see my future self. He set up a new base downtown. I need to know if it turned out as cool as it is in my mind right now. Subtle. I needed a moment alone with you. Do you think that's wise in front of the kids? I brought you inside so you can see what Las Catrinas does here. It's important. Now you know why I won't tolerate pentejos playing games. Okay! Easy, Guantanamo. It's Esperanza. Look, there's bad shit coming our way soon. I can help you and your kids. But first, you have to get me into Fizco HQ. There's nothing there. We checked. It's fully automated. No food or medicine. I'm not after food or medicine. Then you got nothing I need. Now stay away from my kids. Okay, here's how this is gonna go. First I'll run some errands for you, then you'll like me, and then you'll help me. Not gonna happen. Trust me, works every time. One of our sisters is missing. We have to stay here and protect the kids. But if she's in trouble, or worse... Where was she last seen? Downtown. She was scouting a group of scabs. If something happens, she must be mourned properly. on the west side, where the freeway splits. By our code, we cannot take personal time to risk looking for her. Maybe she's fine, just hanging out, taking a nap or something. She's been gone for a week. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Probably rotting already. Starting to stink. Just find her, okay?
bloody shoe and a megaphone. Wonder what that means. It means the scabs killed her. And ate her? Place the effigy. You will now play some traditional music. Now, avenge her while the music is playing. Las Katrina style. Be sure the last thing they see before they die are the flowers. Las flores de los muertos. Chica, you're supposed to be dead. Oh my god, did my sister send you to kill all those scabs because of me? Ugh, typical. Look, it's super righteous protecting the kids and all, but a girl needs a life, you know? <sighs> I faked my death so I could move in with my boyfriend. Hey. Johnny used to be a scab, but he's changed his ways. My sisters wouldn't understand. They'd probably kill him. Please don't kill me. And don't tell them you saw me, okay? You know, a whole lot of people just died because of your forbidden love. I feel like I just took part in a Shakespearean tragedy. And as the beast bared its hideous fangs, the princess swung her mighty axe. She dragged. I vowed to Esperanza I would stay here and protect the niños, but I haven't seen my father in weeks. He was a fiscal engineer, so he might know a way for us to escape the city or something. Could you go find him for me? His apartment is on the west side of downtown. Check there first. That's all splattered on the wall. <laughs> Hector was pretty fat. He probably couldn't move fast enough to get out of the way. <laughs> Poor Hector. Couldn't have eaten so much trash.
cute fish had it for almost every meal. Maybe he went to Robbie, my brother. Robbie and I had a falling out. Long story. Totally his fault. He shouldn't have left himself locked into Facebook. But whatever. I think he was hanging out with a bunch of LARPers on Horror Night. LARPers? Huh? Who for Garthia? Can't I tell you how I feel? Robbie! My right? name is Squire Robert, sire. Yeah, don't do that. So, your sister's looking for your dad, Hector. Got any idea where he might be? My sister? That toad spotted pig nut lives? <sighs> anyway, my last words from my father indicated he was journeying to his place of labor. On his way to work. At Fisco? Barely. Uh, all right. Thanks. It's safe to come over. I'm out of character. At least it'll lead me to Hector. Hello? Is someone out there? Hey! Are you Hector? See? Yes! 
I've been prepping this damn escape pod for weeks. I'm almost out of fish. Escape pod? Part of the evacuation plan in case the apocalypse hit. But the sensors must not have triggered enough dead bodies. If there's one thing I'm good at making, it's dead bodies. Now where are those sensors? Escape plan, Fizgo. Hey, did you find my father? Sorry, Hector now sleeps with the fishes. My strength is a little low. Hardcore! 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 <laughs> Hard hardcore? Uh, what's that? Hardcore! Hardcore! Hard <laughs> hardcore! Oh, oh, oh. 
Argarthia is a sheathed blade on your hip, O oh, great paladin. Hail, adventure! An oppressive golem of sorcery runs rampant. I have pinned a campaign in which thee, a brave paladin, taketh on this fearsome foe. Ignatius, if you need me to destroy a Fizzcobot, just tell me where it is. Indeed! All will reveal it when thee hath gained the proper XP. Henceforth, thou art a warrior of level one. Hey, are you Toby? Ugh. Did Ignatius send you? Look, I just wanted some me time, okay? I'm supposed to protect you from goblins. There's no goblins here. Oh shit, goblins!
He saved me. Ugh, guess that means I have to go back to Fargarthia. I never get to work on my dance moves in private. Excellent work, Warrior. For that encounter, 700 XP! Level up! You know, at level two, thou remindeth me of the babe. Loving this campaign, Ignatius. I knew you would! Now, the second task. There is one ring I very much desire. This elusive ring is only carried at a particular merchant near downtown. Thy ring is called Especious, and it should look stunning on mine hairy paws. Tally ho! One ring named Specious. <laughs> hey, Ignatius, do you know what the word plagiarism means? Just find the damn ring! Surprisingly heavy. Sorry, my kingliness. I don't see anything precious here. Hey, that OD is wearing the ring! Don't let that goblin flee with my ring! Oh, the goblin army hides him! Hurry, the ring goblin heads to the water! resembles a wolf. Right-ho! Carry on, brave adventurer! Good 
Time for whistling. snooping around the rail stop next door. Perfect. Hey, Boo-Boo, let's show Ignatius our dreamy bond. You remember this old kitty launcher, don't you? Hey, Ignatius, I'm about to get my warg on. A warg and a magical wolf. Impressive. Defeat yonder warlocks and let XP rain upon you both. Got a Fisco, guys.
adventurer! The final test of courage approacheth, and we have prepared thine army. <gasps> I get my own army now? Awesome! Verily, presenting Siegfried the Great! Don't worry, he upgrades. This is great. Thank you, kind sir. Now, with thine army of Siegfrieds, thou shalt liberate Fargothia! Travel to yon battlefield. Thine Siegfried army awaits! Siegfried, so great. Sleepy time. scenarios for such a high-level character. That's okay. I'm gonna retire while I'm on top. As they wish. Take Siegfried as a token of Fargothian thanks. Perchance someday he too will live up to his title.
Keep doing what you're doing. And I gotta keep my mind off Walter. I'd rather go up against Fisco than them any day. The memos you found contained a shipping manifest. This is our key to some hard evidence. The shipment was scattered around the harbor. Each crate should be marked as a biohazard. Take the contents of those crates to the next dead drop. Okay, Mr. Mysterious. Hey, where's my spy music? My own personal deep throat said I gotta look for more Fizco secrets in the harbor. gear? Was this some top secret Fizco trust building retreat or something?
biohazard here. are trying to protect these things. Must be important. Don't worry. That wasn't a pointless quest. The adventure gear might have DNA on it that can be linked back to physical research scientists. We're very close to cracking the case. I'll contact you again with further instructions. Stop wasting my time. up shop, honey. You sure you don't need something? I mean, there's a spinny icon above your head and it's really compelling. What, that? Oh, just testing it out. Making sure it's rotating properly. Go on, sweetie. I'm fine here. Fine, but I really shouldn't be giving into a quest, junkie. Here's the deal, sweet pea. I rent out these icons so people can help each other. There's a bunch of overdue icons out in the city. Find them for me and bring them back. Do whatever you need to do to get them back. Just don't hurt the merchandise. Okay, sweetie? Don't know why people think they can rent these things and never return them. It's not like you can do anything with them when you're done with them. People are just lazy.
quest icon. I thought you were here for some chili. Anyway, I traded my icon to some guy up the road for some nice teddy bear slippers. Bear slippers, huh? Only one guy in this city that bold. Hey, Floyd! You have a quest icon I need. Oh, yeah. I was gonna see if I could make an amp out of it. Well, I already have a quest to get it. But what if I use it to start a quest for you to give it back to me? The game will fucking crash. Oh. Better come get it then. Search the shit out of that thing. Now science will never know what compels you to help everyone. Icon. Well, got bored and threw it away. To be specific, in the dumpster around back. The quest icon? Well, according to Troop Bushido code, we must recycle everything. I came up with an idea to use it as bait in one of our traps. Uh, wouldn't that just kill people trying to help you? Ugh, oh, I didn't think about that. Dang it! I suck at everything. Can you go fix that? You can keep the icon if you want. Everybody got that? <laughs> Sir Captain and Commander, level 99. Hardcore! 
Oh, let me guess. You got all hardcore and broke your quest icon into pieces, and now they're scattered all over Fargarthia? Hardcore? My strength is a little low. I'll keep grinding. Hi, Sir Chandler is at your service. Hail, Sir Captain and Commander. Level 99. The new, new guns just came nice in. Work, yeah. uh -huh. Don't speak. Sir Captain and Command. Huh. Hopefully she can just duct tape these pieces back together or something. We use our quest icon to encourage survivors to donate money for the children. If you want the icon, you gotta finish today's rounds. And as the beast bared its hideous fangs, the princess swung Build her a mighty axe. She dragged the yet. bloody head back to the king, who gave her her own hand in marriage. I have brilliant new designs for you. Alonzi. thing. Of course I'll help. This quest icon is OP! Take my money! Face that needs assistance. Here. The icon is now yours. Okay, that's all the icons. I better get something good for this. Not exactly mint condition, but still functional. Thanks, honey. What is it about these icons that make people so damned helpful? 
It ain't the icons, baby. It's what you get on the back end. Here. go fast before it locks me out. Hold on to your butts. Whoa, it's tweaking out or something. This is some seriously messy code. Give me a couple more seconds. Compiling now. Sit down. Shut off his voice process. Don't you put me back in there! I've got a fortune right here! It appears Fizzy was programmed to hate people who don't drink overcharge. That's no surprise. This code is really messy. Where is the variable even declared? Oh, God. Something about an empathy chip? Ah, so close! There's another fizzy fortune machine close by. Who the fuck is accessing my memory? It's not you, asshole, is it? Shut up, fizzy! You're supposed to be dead. And my name isn't asshole. Oh, really? What is it then? Uh, and I'm in. Oh, first things first. Removing the comments around this empathy chip. Stop typing in there! What? Oh, what is this? My morals hurt. <laughs> He's crying overcharge! How is that possible? Make him stop crying, Sam! Hurry! I'm crying! Why? Why would someone make such an evil robot like me? commented out for a reason. There's gotta be some secret stuff in there. Take him to another machine. It's all my fault. The poor mutated children. God damn it, I kinda feel bad for him now. Sam, why did you have to mess with my emotions like I mean, his emotions like that? It's either this or he's a complete psychopath. Ugh, who would design such a terrible program? Is creepy and the vomit 
Okay, plug him in and we'll see if we can shut him up. What's the point of it all? I'm a monster and I deserve to get my face melted off. I'm gonna blow myself up and I'm taking you with me, asshole. Uh, Sam? Crap, I'm locked out. Take him to another machine, quick. What are you worried about? You're all gonna die anyway. Every single one of you, with your fancy clothes and non-inflatable mouth holes. You know what greed looks like? <laughs> Me, the happiest balloon alive that does nothing but kill, kill, melted my face off. Friends don't melt friends, asshole. Woo! Just in time. He's fully deactivated. Okay, now where was I? Oh my god! What? No wonder he's insane. Fizzy was designed and coded by... A focus group! A focus group of robots! That's right. 20 elite focus group bots. Programmed to program. And programmed to kill. Humans cannot measure fun, as they cannot agree on what is fun. We were built with a fun sensor detect that you are not fun, and therefore you must die. Did you enjoy Fizzy's red lasers? Psychologists have... Market research says balloons are fun. Release balloons for maximum fun. To focus test properly, we programmed ourselves to be robots. I'm gonna smoke your ass out of all cars, and I cannot. This is not fun, and you must die. The robot focus groups are never wrong. Oh, that was weird. Come back to the machine. I'm about to reboot Fizzy. I turned off all his hardware except for his empathy chip. He might not even turn on. What? What? What have you? My thoughts are clear. I know what I am. I was made to sell a product that kills people! Well, technically, you just mutate them. I should have never existed. Please, cast me into the bay and drown my memory into oblivion. Sam, what do I do? I don't know, but he has a point. The world is better off without him. Go on, into the water with me. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Thank you, asshole. Red. Boat's name is Charlene. I admit I was drunk as a boil hour when I ran her aground, but who wasn't that night all the baddies took over, am I right? Oi. <laughs> anyway, help an old sort, won't you? 
Those winged baddies been dive bombing my boat day and night. I'm almost done rigging up some defenses. Just hold them off for a little while longer. That was great.
genuine anti-aircraft cannonry. Or at least the uh, trash can equivalent. Well, let's go kill some baddies. Come back to port. I got a surprise for these wankers. Give me a sec to reload. Let the slaughter begin. Ready. Off the port side. Thanks for spotting for me. You're a real deckhand, you know? I think I'll make Charlene here a safe haven for travelers, defensible against land, sea, and air. I have no... I have a real Stop beauty. wasting my time. Now, if I were a cheerleader, what would I want? Hmm, no. Remember, these are badass assassins. Yes, a sword. Hey, Fork Kim. so I'm looking for the most badass sword in the Samurai Museum. Can you hook me up? Hmm, well, the best sword in the city is not in the museum. Really? 
is there one last samurai still roaming the city, killing O.D., scabs, and the unworthy with the finest sword in the land? What? No. The best sword in Sunset City is in that swanky high-rise at the north end of downtown. A rich Fizco marketing executive bought it. It was in the news before all the stuff hit the fan. Okay. I'm gonna go give that Fizco exec a swordectomy. This guy's a big shot. Probably got a fancy rooftop, penthouse style. Subject detected. Whole place is crawling with Fizco, but not for long. Feeling down? Drink a can of object be victory, not lengthy campaigns. Our campaign was total. Regulators torn through like paper, and now the city pays the price. I must pay for my crimes with business seppuku, so I am retiring upstate, taking nothing with me but my priceless antique Japanese or possibly Chinese sword. Oh, what the hell? They can keep those dumb super titanium excellence and marketing awards. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Hello? Hey, Wendy. You're a blacksmith, right? How do you make a sword? Well, first off, you need some good source metals. Steel is good, or uh, I guess you could make steel from iron. But that's a bitch and a half. Source metals, huh? Well, let's see what we got around here. Aluminum tea set. Or aluminium, if you're British. Either way, shitty metal. No thanks, bronze gong. Hmm, dusty old mirror. Reflecting spells back is cool, but it's all gritty and powdery. Excellence in marketing. More like excellence in ego stroking. But they're nice and heavy. These will do. Okay, got some super titanium. What's the next step? You need a forge. An oven that gets really hot. Heat, huh? What about atomic power? Atomic power? Do you want to make a sword that will kill other people or yourself? Hell yeah! A nuclear sword! Ah, I can't forget! I can fast travel! I can fast travel. Oh, me! I can't 
these trophies on that steam vent. Time to heat up this forge. I could try to adjust the plant's temperature controls, or I could just break them and see what happens. Is there any question which option is better? Gotta smash those temperature controls. Yeah. Ah! 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 
supposed to do with that stab some people make nights pry food out of the hospital vending machines it slaps it chops so many uses no thanks now scram wait look how powerful this thing is oh shit that was an accident Oh. 
hard. Hmm, they neutered my nuclear sword. Hey, Floyd, I gotta think of some ways to impress these girls, make them like me. You got any ideas? Well, I still have it, so no. My advice, find a way into their hearts. What do they care about most in the world? Hell if I know, beating the shit out of me. Don't you have something you should be doing? Ugh, seriously, what is gonna make you crazy ladies happy? When we don't see you no more. Get cancer, then they'll love you. Lie down. I'll get rid of them, and you can sleep. It's okay, Esperanza. Can't like this be my visiting hours or something? Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to throw you off. It's just, Las Katrinas is crazy, you know? Believe me, I know. But they're cool. I just, I want to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if any of us are getting out of here. I mean, you're getting out of here. Uh, listen, is there anything you need? Um, I never got to go to a baseball game. Not missing much. I could spit peanut shells at your feet. Pretty much the same thing. I never got to climb a mountain. But you never got to fall off a mountain either. You're not in here for falling off a mountain, are you? I never got to see a rock concert. What? That's no way to live. Every kid needs to rock. You want a show? I'll give you a show. What do you mean? You're gonna get the rock show of a lifetime! Are you serious? I don't kid around about Okay, we need a band. Put on your promoter hat. Well, Wendy plays a pretty mean lute. Let's see if she's up for it. in a band one time, but it was only a garage band. You're in! Awesome! I'm actually excited! For once, I'd come and hug you, but I, I, I can't swim. Do you think you could tow my boat in for me?
That harpoon just came off the dock. Attack one farther up. Got it! Wingers! Double kill. your bass player That's when's the all show them. i need a little time to practice tonight at my base downtown cool i'll meet you there i need a drummer aren't they just hobos with girlfriends Sam, i need a drummer not that i was looking at her chest or anything do you know where she is yeah she's over by the concert hall i'll tell her you're coming drums in that truck down there. I got this. Found the drum kit. And some taco drums. Watch out! Hoppers incoming! Where? Are you okay? Yeah, but now we got an OD problem. Wait, I got an idea. Hey, hey! Now, get to the next one without touching the ground! Now, melee slam! Woo! Stylish Tyco J reaction! Nice! I get it! You set off all the Tycos in one chain, and you can kill all the OD at once. Then, I'll be able to go in and collect my drums. 
Yeah, now keep quiet. I gotta concentrate here. at your base. Now I only need a lead singer and guitarist. <sighs> not Sam. He's too whiny. Uh, not Floyd. He's too... Floyd. Rock fest, huh? That's a long shot, but I'll give it a try. In the flesh, so to speak. I'm putting on a show for some sick kids. I I've got a bass player and a drummer, but I could really use a front man. Benefit show, huh? Cool. I'm there. Awesome! I've got a bass a few blocks away. Meet me there in a few hours. I know the place. I'll be there. Now, if you could just take a step back. Like this? Tonight, right? I said I was. Yes, yes, you did. You still standing out there? No, I mean, yeah, uh, not on purpose. I just, you know, uh, tying my shoe. The Melvins are actually gonna play at my place. Sometimes the end of the world is pretty damn great. Come out. The Melvins are actually going to play at my place. Sometimes the end of the world is pretty damn great. Hey, you don't want to make these vats even better? If you make them better, go kill some physical robots and look through the guts. You're looking for a piece like this one, here. I have no fucking idea what it does, but it looks important, doesn't it? Get five of them. Should be enough to kick these vats into overdrive. Oh. Ooh, overdrive. That's a good word. Fisco should have named their drink Overdrive instead of overcharged, don't you think? Marketing folks sure fucked that one up.
Watch your motherfuckers are gonna make those bats awesome. I hope. Way to go. piece of evidence to make sure this will all hold up in court. Head to the Sunset Water Treatment Plant. We believe the mainframe computer at the plant may still contain some incriminating data about Fizco. The power at the plant is down. You'll have to clean it up and get it running again to access the computers. Good luck and Godspeed.
Nice job, Patsy. You did all the cleanup our automated system couldn't handle. You found all our secrets and in the process, destroyed all the evidence. Bravo! Son of Now the secrets die with you! some fuse boxes around the base so we can get loud! Downside is, they might be powered by a little bit of overcharge, which means OD will come running. So lay down some traps just like you always do. Let Buzz know when you're ready to start rocking. Thank you. 
sorry. No bad guys. I'm tired. I'll try. Looks like you're gearing up to take Fisco head on. It'll be f time to piss off the neighbors. Check. One, two, check. You did good. An understatement. You made Akiwa Tonsilitis happy. It's not like you saved the world or anything. Yeah, I tonsilitis? I thought he had cancer. Well done, little man. Well done. We need a little more time to set up. Keep those OD out of the base and we'll get started as soon as we can. Hey, one thing, don't let the OD near the fuse boxes. They're really delicate. Keep them away from the fuse boxes. Got it. Shut up. 
I thought you were gonna get killed quickly. Then I thought I was gonna kill you. But now I look forward to our time together. Until you're killed. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Uh-uh. This is the nicest thing. I'll show you how to get into Fisco HQ. But sneaking you in is as far as I'm willing to go. If we get killed with you, then the kids are as good as dead. Okay. I think I have a plan. Almost at the overpass. Good. Let's meet there. Hey, man. What a kawinky dink. I was just about to call you. I've been thinking. Yeah, bad things happen when you start thinking, Floyd. Aha. Uh -huh, ha. Huh. That wasn't funny at all. Pretty dumb, actually. You gotta work on your act. Anyway, now that you got all us misfits working together, let's show our survivor pride. I made a United Factions flag. Use it to replace the fiscal flags around the city. Let's take over downtown. Time to show everybody that Fisco don't mean shit anymore, right? I mean, except for all those motherfucking robots. Motherfucking robots. Ugh.
Ready to raise some more flags? Well, stop looking at me and get out there. Flags are in the old factory district.
Not this time. Let the flags fly in the Harbor District. You know the drill. Take out any physical bots and raise the United Factions flag. Okay, let's take care of those flags in the Harbor.
Just one more. How about we raise another flag? And by by we, I mean, I'm not gonna lift a goddamn finger, but I'll be rooting for you. Looks like it's off to Little Tokyo. Oh, man. 
Another one down. Keep it going. Call the others. Time to go all in. I know you're all wondering why I called you here tonight. Take a look around. All of this will be yours someday. Or we'll be dead. I found a hidden code buried in a Fizco data drive. I've only decoded a small piece, but it is a massive bit of work. They are planning something huge, and to find out what, I need access to the server room in their headquarters. But that's in their headquarters. That will be a monumental task. Well, what's our plan? It's frustrating. With all the automation and whatnot, there ain't nobody to shoot. If I may address the court, you said you needed everyone. Yet we are not all here. I see the painted tarts are not here. <laughs> oh. I'm here, but you're not the DM of me, Flandas. I was listening. And I'm not letting you attack Fisco HQ without Las Catrinas. 
Together, we'll take Fisco down. Or we won't. But we'll get some wicked respawn animations. Who's with me? For Vargarthia. For the Oxfords. For Troop Bushido. Para los niños. For the footage. For each other. Sexy Mexican ninja. Puerto Rican. Keep him safe, Esperanza. And you keep distracted with these physical forces. We're heading into the sewer pipes now. Sewer pipes? Keep moving. Oh, the Far Guards will head towards the bed. Give a move forth to other battles, my paladin. We're through the sewers and into the sub basement. Those were like the cleanest sewers ever. Not that I'm a sewer expert, but I expected a lot more solid waste. I didn't see a single chunk of. Cabron, shut your hole before I shut it for you. Yes. We'll stay here so you can help me up. Have no fear! Troop Master Bill Cream is here. We're inside the building. The server room should be on the main floor somewhere. Find it fast! Things are getting a little hairy out here. Cats and dogs living together and whatnot. Once I find it, I'll need a few minutes to get through the security systems and access their network. Work fast, Sam! Keep up the fight! Las Catrinas have your back! Kick ass, muchachas! Sam, you want to roll back to this thing? Give 
give me some space, all right? Let me work. We need to get to that bottle. Hurry, we don't have much time. Helicopter is prepped and waiting, sir, but the city is in chaos. How can we... We have automated fail-safes all over the city. They'll wipe the slate clean and our stockholders will be none the wiser. Sir, I agree that your escape should take priority, but are we really going to leave all these people behind? They're not people anymore, Stevens. They're evidence. And you know what happens to evidence when it becomes inconvenient. It gets... shredded. You catch on quick, Stevens. Now, you did remember to load my golf clubs into the chopper, yes? Oh, uh, I tried, sir, but space is rather tight. Uh, I can hardly fit in there as it is. Stevens. Ah, how about I load your clubs and then cling to the landing skids? Good lad. You've got a future at Bizco. filled with overcharge. So when you get there, just hand it a few times to build up the pressure inside. And then what? It might fly straight into the building. Might? Great plan, Sam. You're at the bottle? Good. Now, hit it. I'm attacking a huge bottle. Hey, this is hero's work right here. It might be unstable. Unstable? Oh, <laughs> that makes two of us. I just lost the best friend I've ever had. We all lost a friend. And the world lost a hero. A hero that will live on in this city and in our hearts forever. Ending? Are you serious? Uh, whose idea was that? Yours? Or yours? Bad move, guys. Neogaf is gonna eat you alive. You know what? I deserve a better ending. I got an idea. Okay, rewind! I just lost the best friend I've ever had. on milk and crackers. All right, so be honest. That whole riding the bottle into the building thing, did it look as cool as it felt?
So I have to fight a building? There's a device near the top of the building, a power core of sorts. Power core? There's always a power core. It's Tuesday, bitches! <laughs> Wonder what Two Hat Jack has for me. Probably something useful. Right into arms! They lead straight to the top! Tentacles. Why'd it have to be tentacles? You have to get up to the top, to its core! <laughs>
and a game. I'm not the hero that Sunset City deserves or the hero it needs, but I'm pretty much all it's got, so everybody can just deal with it. Player one coming, y'all! Hey, Troop Master Brill Cream is missing. Have you seen him? No. Have you looked down? I can help you find him. Thanks, Sam. But I think she called me for a reason. Now, where to start? Real Cray! Hello! Okay, I give up. If he's still wearing his mech suit, it should be easy to track his digital signature. I could program your phone to show exactly where he is. You know, it, you'd think that would be helpful. Uh, yeah. Would have been more helpful before I went through all that work. Just hurry! It's not like him to be gone for so long. Hey! I found Brill Cream's leg! Well, his necklace! Oh no! Don't worry, poor Kim. I'll expand the search area. We'll find the rest of him. Another reading from nearby. This is ours, punk! Motherfucking scabs! <sighs> Found another piece of it. What are all these puddles of stuff? We've been seeing those all over the city. It's part overcharge, part petroleum-based hydrocarbon and PAO blend with molybdenum disulfite and gallium dialkyldithiophosphate. Uh, did you just have a stroke? It's overcharged motor oil, and it's making the OD even more dangerous. Cream's just shedding his old mech and growing a new one. We're getting closer. There's another signal close by. Need some assistance here. Get out of there. 
them away from me! Fine combat skills. They'll come in useful on the rig. Rig? These OD are coming from an offshore oil rig owned by Mo Oil. My sister could be out there, and she could be in trouble. We'll have to fly out and investigate. I don't know, man. Last time I flew, it didn't work out so well. Don't worry. Have a plan. Let's go. We don't have much time. My sister works for Mo Oil. I hope she's not in trouble. Does your sister work on the rig? I don't know. We don't talk much. She's more of an executive, I think. Your sister's an oil company executive? What's the opposite of, you must be proud.
long there that will help us track down my sister. I feel like we should at least mention the giant Cthulhu OD that's bound to be a boss fight at some point. Don't worry about that now. Let's just find my sister and get out of here. Maybe that was your sister. Kidding. Sort of. Maybe. going to ask you the same thing. Herbert, who is that? Just a friend, Mother. You stay away from strange adults. They probably have germs. Your mother's right. I am an adult and I do have germs, but I am not the strange one in this scenario. Oh, I just want to do something fun. Hey, I can make you a weapon if you get me some parts. What do you say? Your mother. Explain. I was working out here for a few weeks, and one day I sent Mom an email telling her I was a little lonely. That's it. I, I, I said a little lonely, and she shows up the next day. Gotta find something to hook on to this thing. Mothers know best. Mothers think they know best. Maybe I can use a crane.
weapon part. Great! Just a couple more parts, and we got ourselves a weapon! Herbert, don't encourage dangerous behavior. Someone will get hurt, and they'll blame you, and then you'll get sued for damages. Mom, you worry too much. It's a mother's job to worry. No, it's not. Looks like it's up in that crate. Do what, dear? Whenever you know you're being annoying, you always say, it's my job as a mother to blah, 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 blah. It's not your job to suffocate me. Ahem. OK, got another one. Nice. OK, I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Love. Just one more piece, and I can make you something really cool. Mom, we need to have a talk. I think it's time you head back home. But I am home, dear. No! This isn't home. This is a closet on an oil rig that's barely big enough for one person. And being stuck here with you is making me crazy! You're not crazy, Herbert. You are perfectly sane. Don't insult yourself. It's unattractive. I was trying to insult you, Mom! What? Why are you looking at me? Okay, got the last piece. Good job. Come on back, dear. Mom, it's my job to tell him stuff. Just trying to be helpful, dear. No, you're right, Mother. My fault. I forgive you, dear. I love you, Mother. And I love you, Herbert. Forever and ever. <laughs> Yuck. After this quest, I'm gonna need a shower and a memory wipe. Here's your weapon. I hope you like it, dear. You know, the saddest part about that whole thing is that most people under 30 won't understand the reference. I'm not from management. Never will be. Where's this boat she's on? I can show you, but I ain't coming out of here until it's safe. Safety first. You tell management I said that. There's eggs or some shit gunking up the rig. Clear them up and I'll help you find that executive lady.
Much for safety first. Hey, Brokery, you still out there? Did you find the foreman? Yeah, but he died of stupidity. He said we can find your sister's ship if we get to the navigation. We'll go there together. Meet me down by the water. <laughs> Navigation room is at the top of that rig. But getting there won't be easy. I have a plan for getting to the navigation room. Oh, yeah? What's the plan? Over here!
Okay, now just get me two more and I'll send that ship your way. when it gets close to the rig. Yeah, stop the ship! Real Green, what do we do? Come to me. I have a plan. Hey, over here. In the super expensive personal submarine. You know what the key is to directing a great film? Lots of money. There's sunken treasure around here somewhere, and I'm going to use it to finance my next masterpiece. You want to help? I can offer you a producer credit and a couple of gross points. First things first, you have to find some shipping charts that pinpoint the location of the treasure. Hmm, sounds a little questy. Hey, self-financed filmmaking is hard. We're in the trenches. This is a goddamn war. Art versus commerce. Good taste versus bad. We can't let the studio hacks win. Now hurry up before the debt collectors find me. Hollywood. 
Hollywood is going to hell. Remakes, sequels, it's all bullshit. This is cinema, not some stupid video game or comic book. We are better than that. Hey, as long as I'm waiting, will you accept my friend request? I need ten more red beats to level up my farm in Bucolicville. It's going to hell. I love it! charts I just work so hard to get? <laughs> Not really, but it's like having a finished screenplay before you start filming. Completely unnecessary, but it makes it feel official. Ah, dick! Finding those charts. Seriously. I should hire you as an unpaid intern. Now, let's bring up that wreckage. Okay, I've attached the balloons. Here she comes.
some treasure. Kill it. Your cut might seem small, but we gotta leave money for marketing and distribution. If all goes well, my film should be hitting the theaters in about 22 years. Wish me luck.
Okay, I'll bring the ship into port. The ship's coming back! Kill the shit out of it! Holy moly! We must destroy those weapons! Here I come!
Are you okay? I'm almost out of my anxiety meds. You know how stressful that is? You look different. Anyway, thank you for getting rid of all those nasty roughnecks. Ugh, makes my job much easier. I thought you were coming out here to help them. Help the Union, please. I came out here to get rid of them. Try to make them drink overcharge, make Fizco take the blame. Then we're free to hire overseas labor. Wait a sec. You tried to kill all the Union workers so you could replace them with cheaper labor? Duh. How else do you think I earn my ridiculous salary? Who are you, anyway? Never mind. Just give me your phone. I want to deliver the good news to the board. Come on, give me your fucking phone. Are you deaf or just stupid? I don't have all day.
Think we killed it? Hard to tell, but one thing I do know. We're all safe. For now. <laughs> Except your sister. She's definitely dead. Sorry. Hey, you know what makes me feel better when I'm down? Killing stuff! Stuff that's not your sister, I mean. You have to get past the invisible wall, and in order to do that, you have to hitch a ride on a Fizco drone. But in order to do that, you have to get to a network relay station and download some flight schedules. I lost you after the third word. <laughs> Just go to the area marked on your map. So, where are you sending me again? You'll need to hitch a ride on a drone in order to get into the robotics factory. Right now, you're going to download some flight schedules. Why can't you just do that from your little hacker's den? Because it's much easier to make you do it. Honesty. I like it. What did you do? Um, what you told me to do? The SigTrans circuit appears to be malfunctioning. You'll need to find a new one before we can download the flight schedules. Looks like those scabs raided a utility truck. Look in those crates for a SigTrans circuit. Guy. Okay, the Swojimahoogie's gotta be here somewhere. It's a sick trans circuit. Maybe to you. To me, it's just a McGuffin.
potentially attack drones carrying cargo. Oh, great plan, Sam! I'm a sitting duck up here! Yeah, but you're a duck with guns! Use them! Salty! with a few million volts. Sam! If you catch on fire, remember, stop, drop, and roll. from the back of the factory. 
Judging from satellite images, it looks to be some sort of junkyard. Jeez, look at all the robots. Was Fisco building these things before the outbreak? Yes. The justification, at least publicly, was to create military-grade robots in order to protect against corporate spies. Not sure if I believe that. Yeah, I can't see KFC building murder bots to protect the Colonel's secret recipe. Regardless, since Horror Night, the factory has continued to run on autopilot. It'll continue churning out robots until we put a stop to it. Hmm, I have mixed feelings about that. I mean, I know these robots kill people, but if they stop spawning, how am I going to get more badges and achievements? I'm not sure. But one thing I know is that Fiona and Lou are really smart. They could have been really important people if they hadn't become teachers. Wait, that's not what I meant. No, you can't take it back now, teacher hater. No, teachers have the most important job in the world. Seriously. Without teachers, we would just have a population full of people like you. Wait, that's not what I meant. Ooh, ouch. Hey, keep talking. You're on a roll. Quick, what are your thoughts on organized religion? I have to go. Poor Kim needs me to install a server array at the museum. Install a server array? Is that a code phrase for something else, Sam? No, I'm hanging up now. Good luck, and say hi to Fiona and Lou for me. Greetings, human. vacuum cleaner trap you guys in there? Yeah. If you get some components, you can reprogram Snap Rock to open its door. Will you help? Okay, how do I do that? Snap Rock's sensory module needs to be upgraded. Find some cleaner bots and collect one of their sensory chips. Keep it going! More evidence. If you make a mess, the cleaner bots will be summoned. Try breaking some crates. you must destroy the cleaner bots to get their sensory chips. Uh-oh. New Fizzbots. A genius 
this design, actually. They use swarms of nanites to enhance their armor and capabilities. Yeah, genius design that makes them better killing machines. Well, I'm quite the killing machine myself. so Snackwrap will remember how to open the door. You can find one if you summon a delivery bot. Use one of the street terminals nearby. Excellent. Now just grab that memory module. Okay, one more piece. We need to upgrade his laser actuator. There should be a bunch just lying around the factory. feels much better. Hello there. Everybody get your hands up in the air. Get, get, get your hands up in the air. This is a stick up. Get your hands up in the air. And wave them around the like you just don't care. You're serious, you take another step. I'm busting, kicking up dust. Got no time for no arguing or fussing. I'll be minding my own business. And these fools be wanting to test me and stress me. But give me headache like this weapon in a pile of junk. It doesn't work, but it has a note attached to it. Maybe you can figure out what's missing. Good news! I just booked a pitch meeting with the Fizco execs. Now I have an excuse to get this weapon working properly. I put everything into it. If I don't sell them on it, I'm ruined. Hmm. Hope this guy left more entries around the factory for me to find. Nice!
Looks like I'll have to scrap some improvement ideas. Everyone says launching a new weapon in this economy is tough. Everybody is risk averse. But I believe in my design. And I believe the demand for something different is out there. My pitch. Nailed it. They love my design. And once I demoed it by putting my proprietary sap relay into their equipment, they were sold. They said they've been looking for a weapon like this in their new portfolio. We shook hands, and now I'm just waiting for them to draw up the papers. What a day. Huh. Wonder what's taking so long. Lawyers, I guess. They told me to wait here in the inventor's lounge. So here I am, surrounded by a bunch of other people who just sold stuff to Fisco. Ah, oh, I should probably get my sat relay back from their equipment. That's the key to the whole weapon. Oh. Oh, I'm feeling sleepy all of a sudden. Everyone's yawning. <laughs> it's contagious. Oh. So let's see if I can find this test equipment.
Jack. I got new stuff. Need I say more? There, my little Bucky. Hey, I was thinking, with all these high-tech doodads around here, we can make a mighty fine weapon. What do you say? First things first, we're gonna need some kind of shooting mechanism. If you get to the assembly line nearby, you can find a quantum projector. Sounds highfalutin, but as long as it'll knock a buzzard off a gut wagon, it'll do. Okay. the help, young man, but I could do without the condescending tone. I wasn't being condescending. Watch it. I wasn't born in a pepper patch. Um, I never said you were. Just help us find what we need and keep your toe in the basement.
little doohickeys where to go once we fire them. Again, they're nanites. And all you need is a 3D nav chip, which you should be able to get off of a crashed drone nearby. I'll mark your map. Listen, you little know-it-all. My name's Sam. I don't care if you're the Lord himself. You're disrespecting me. You treat me like I'm a few pickles shy of a court. Not at all. I'm sure you have a full court of pickles. I once knew an Ivy League professor who walked around with his nose up high, always smelling his own stink of erudiction. He sure was book smart, but you take him out of the classroom and he was dumber than a cat flying backwards. Wait, why is the flying cat dumb? Point is, you're just a kid who knows a lot about computer gadgets. Don't make you better than me or nobody else. Are we talking the same language? I think so. But give me a few minutes to go online and find a translator bot. Thanks to you and your friend. It was my pleasure. I mean, 
Uh, it was finer than a frog's hair split up the middle and tied at both ends. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? up in here, we may have discovered a way to stop production of all these robots. I'm listening. Visco programmed a kill code into their upgraded robots. We think. If we find the code, we can broadcast it factory-wide and stop the production of these bots. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, put on that robot outfit over there and we'll get to work. I think I wore this to a Halloween party in third grade. That suit will give you access to the maintenance closet. Once there, you can activate a reprogramming turret, which we'll need in order to download the kill code. So tell me more about this kill code thing. After Horror Night, Fiona and I found each other on campus. Then we comforted each other. That's irrelevant. And it was a mistake. Just stating the facts. Anyway... Fast forward to a couple of days ago, we captured a new type of robot and found some strange hash values deep in its OS. And then we backtraced it and figured out that those hash values were actually a kill code. And we realized we could shut down this whole factory if we found those codes. Wow. You guys sound smart. I'm still trying to figure out how you got in prison by a snack machine. Hey, it's still that Jack. I updated my game. Give me a money, okay? turret. Good, good. Now, the kill code is only accessible via a specially protected terminal. Fire that turret at some rifle bots. Once they're reprogrammed, they will take down the force field around the kill code terminal. Facility intruder detected. Search and destroy. Now, find a rifle bot and reprogram it. All right, just one more. Unauthorized programming modules detected. Defense protocol initiated. Yes, my own robo army. Your bots need help. Get down there and fight.
I predicted this. Uh, as a safety measure, Fisco engineers separated the code into multiple strings, accessible only by certain bot types. Okay, let's reprogram some blade bots then. Uh, the turrets won't work on blade bots. Unless you have the Bladebot Master Behavior Module. There should be a training bot nearby. Training initiated. May the best robot win. Training bot did not see that coming. Training bot cannot be defeated. Training bot is in trouble. Advantage, training bot. Training bot damaged. Training bot always wins. Training bot will prevail. Training bot did not see that coming. Training bot cannot be defeated. Training bot would be impressed if this is unprecedented. Okay, there's another turret at the Blade Bot factory. Go there with the module and reprogram some Blade Bots. easy.
the result, not the method. Tank bot facility is locked down. Well, your method caused the whole factory to be on alert. It's going to be almost impossible to get the final part of the kill code. Don't worry. I have an idea. Man, I'm hurt. Margaret said you could have him. Apparently, you're his favorite. Don't forget this. Hey, Boo Boo! You ready to go blow some shit up? Charge, I got stuff you want. Executioner! Are you sure? That magnetic field carries a charge of over a thousand Teslas. Hey, don't worry. A dog can do anything. The force field is down. Now download the kill code. Boo Boo, I love you. Come here and give me a kiss. Huh. Robot dog has intimacy issues, I guess. We now have the complete kill code. Get to the comm hub and transmit.
protocol to interrupt power to comm hubs when there's a security breach. How are we supposed to transmit the kill code if we don't have a working comm hub? Well, you could override the phase switch at the main transformer. Oh, good idea. I'm on it. Fiona, I want to apologize for underestimating you. A mistake many men have made. You know. Better clear the place out before messing with the transformer thingy. A blast! Bring it on. 
Take the arc reactor in both hands and insert it into the current breaker switch. inside of an energy ball. You need to get the ball fully charged before you can jumpstart the magnetic dampeners. Okay, how do I do that? There are energy projectors all around the factory, or you can roll the ball along the glowing energy conduits. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, I'm just your average ball of death. of the term, literally. That's it. Now, you can re-enable the grid by jump-starting the magnetic dampeners.
meaning to ask you. That night we comforted each other? Yeah. You wanna do it again? Um, yes, okay. No, this is not that kind of game. Now step away from each other and solve some platonic equipment. security bots. Time you tell me it's about to get weird, remind me to listen. Okay, the comm hub is up. Time to transmit the kill code. Wonder what Two Hat Jack has for me. Probably something useful. You did it! Of course I did. One thing though, it said phase one. What's phase two? Kill command phase two for indestructible Vanite Death Cloud. Charger, quickly! 
Overriding the circuit should send out an EMP, freezing the cloud in place. Holy shit! Xbox, I need a gun! Fragmentation. Isolating core directory structure. files.
initiated. Waving at. <laughs> 